Hello. I forgot the microphone. I'm sorry. That was a mistake. Hello, testing, testing. Is is the Facebook one still working? I think I, I think we broke the Facebook one. We broke the Facebook, did we? <laughs> Damn it. Really? We, did we actually... Is the Facebook one not working anymore? Gotta check the Facebook one then. Masyado ako naging excited dahil kalimutan ko yung microphone natin. The, uh, the Facebook one is broken then. <laughs> Nasira natin yung Facebook. I should create a new one, I guess. My bad. We broke the Facebook one. Okay, well, crap. <laughs> okay, we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna start a new one on Facebook. We're just gonna do that. And dami ko pang repair. I thought I was perfectly, perfectly uh, uh, repaired and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there you Share in a page. Uh, next. And dami ko pang ginawa para maayos yun ano? Pinagirap ang koyon. What's up, Nightbot? Okay, we're gonna restart the stream. Don't worry, you don't need to leave. We're just gonna turn on and turn it on and off again. Have you turned it on and off and on and again? Uh, BTS. <laughs> Na ano lang ang mic lol. All right. Okay. Sorry, sorry. I'm a late, but I am going out. What the hell? No, 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 no. Discard. Turn the page. Big time show. Yes. Next. Mga army hindi ito yung BTS natin. Uh, most likely hindi nga. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's see. Edit settings. Nakalimutan ko yung microphone eh. So, save. Okay, let's restart the stream. What's up, Robert Liban? Holy crap. Okay. Pero mas papanoorin daw tayo ni Sean Herald Tria. Thank you, thank you. Okay, go live. Nagkamali tayo. Okay. We're, we should be streaming on Facebook again. On a different link. Sadly, on a different link. Okay. That should be good. That should be good. Let's... Sh <laughs> Pinakahirap hirap natin i-post yung, ano, yung proper link ng, ng ating stream. And then we messed it up. And then we... We promptly messed it up. Take two. Because that's how we roll dito sa BTS... The mo the better no in the, not not better BTS. Baka may magalit sa atin. The BTS ng inyong pokak slash puso. All right, let's post that. Let's post it over here. Konti na lang 4K na. For 4K 4K videos na tayo eh. Lol. Uh, oh my god, saan ako, saan ako kailangan mag-post? Uh, take two, yes, take two dyan, take two dito. And post na to. Publish. <laughs> Ang palpak natin. Alright, that should be good. That should do it. Naano lang ang mic natin eh. 
How we doing on YouTube? May tao na tayo sa YouTube, good. And then I need to restart my chat. Right? That's how we that that's how it works. Manana. Alright. Facebook? Alright, good, 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 good. We have we have uh, comments on Facebook now from Queen Norms. Holy crap. <laughs> sorry na, sorry. We are uh we are we are na na, na na ano lang today. We are na ano today. So welcome to the to the show. Huh. Ano nga bang ano natin? <laughs> ano bang meron sa show natin? Nasa ng 4K TV ko? Ah, gusto nyo makita yung ano? <laughs> na ano lang, it's a very uh, very timely comment. Gusto nyo makita yung TV? Is that it? Wait lang. I'm gonna... Alright, ito yun. I will, sh I will show you my... Yeah, ay, hindi bi bitin sa camera eh. Wait lang. Let's... There we go. Oh yeah, check that out, dudes. Oh. I turned on the lights for you, huh? That shit costs money, those lights, huh? Let's turn on the TV. Oh, buti na lang nakasaksak yung TV. Nakalimutan ko kung nakasaksak o hindi. What up? Look at that, look at them, RB RBG. Gibber G, G, what's up, Ken Drax, Arlan, Imperial, Soriano? We are live na. Microsoft Koha 4K between mobile. Oppo F Puno. <laughs> what? Look at that! I can watch my own live stream. I like your cloth cabinet, Lazada. Yes, it is on the. Oh, oh my God! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! RB, RBG. <laughs> I'm I'm watching my own live stream. Pasensya na the the TV is too bright for the to, for the cam for the camera, and I don't want to lower its brightness. Okay, I don't want to lower my brightness pa for 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 you guys because I like the brightness how it is. Man, this is this is my 4K Android TV. Check it out. Boy, I'm a 4K HDR, but it has it definitely has 4K HDR. HDR. <laughs> Thank you, man, Kendrax. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's our 4K. That's a 4K TV, boys, Girl, girls, people, everybody. I can, uh, we can go Netflix and HD, 4K HDR. Kaya lang makakasuhan tayo ni Netflix. <laughs> uh, yung isang 4K HDR ko dito na pinapanood is uh, Girl Boss. Ang ganda ng HDR ng Girl Boss, krabe. Sobrang ting kaya dong kulay. Asin masisilaw ka. Asin, you. If you've ever been, uh, ano ba ano ba yung English ng nasilaw? Br the lights are too bright when you're watching. That's how bright it is, um, and it's not because it's not because the TV is br too bright. The scene actually has a lot of dark parts ng scene, but there's also super bright parts in scene. And unfortunately, ang hirap hanapin pag Netflix because I have to do this. Girl boss G. Wala siyang ano eh. Wala siyang text in uh, ano eh. I R L. Girl boss. There you go. Mulong, what's up? Uh, thanks na po pala sa pagtulong niyo sa PLDT Fiber. Oh, it's a uh, it's our friend from uh I want to say Davao, I think. Now na is not. No thanks to PLDT Davao Makupal. I am really happy that your uh, your fiber has been uh, fixed na. And I didn't know na mapapaayos natin yun. So, thankfully, napaayos natin. And so, actually, there are there are some really good scenes dito sa Girl Boss that are huge uh, HDR-powered. Oh, na ano tayo? <laughs> 4K HDR. I'm streaming 4K HDR, obviously, because we have... Oh, by the way, Mulong, I got connected with fiber na. So, I'm blessed with the fiber connection na. So that's our so that's our uh, cabinet setup. Makani 4K TV. This is actually a re 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 one of the more affordable and uh, 
well, I wouldn't say more affordable, but one of the best 4K TVs for the price. Um, let me uh, let me go back to the BTS uh, thing. Just in case, may tanong pa kayo dito sa ating background uh, cabinet thing. So the cabinet, the cabinet is a Lazada 750 pesos cloth cabinet, right there, and the LED uh, L RGB lights is from Lazada as well. 450 pesos. So mga 1,000, let's say 1,400 yung buong cloth uh, cabinet and uh, the lights. Um, I just don't like that the lights kumakain ng isang saksakan. <laughs> Search nyo net, not Geo Mars. Yeah, I'll, I'll try that. Magkano yung cloth cabinet? That's around 750. I'll show you. I'll show you. Let's go into talking about the stuffs na ating uh, so not necessarily topic ito, but uh, we'll discuss what you just saw on the on my back here. Kasi, okay, first of all, let's talk about the 4K TV. Alam ko na pag usapan na natin si 4K TV before, right? Um, and I told you why I why it is one of the best 4K TVs. But just in case may mga nagtatanong, Sony uh, Bravia X800D. Sa, sa Pilipinas, it's called the... X8000D, X800D. I, I believe it's X800D sa, uh, sa international. But in the Philippines, it's X8000D. And it's also X80D according to this website. So, lat lat na. No thanks. Alright. So, hey, I click no thanks. Okay, good. So, this is the TV that I have actually. This is the exact same TV. 40, there's a 43 inch and a 49 inch. Don't buy the 49 inch. The 49 inch is IPS, but the IPS is actually not as honestly not as good. Uh, the 43 inch is, I believe, VA. Was one of the better technologies around? And if you look at the SRP here, it's 43749. Wag nyo, wag nyo sundan yung SRP, kasi its SRP here is uh, 43749. Hindi totoo yung SRP niya, because if you go to OLX. And we can find some legit sellers here. Uh, type in Sony X8000D or X800, X8000D, right? And if you look around here, the cheapest one you can get uh, for... <laughs> rich kid. I, I'm not a rich kid. I just watched the Yugatech promo thing. It's a contest yung TV. Na yan eh. But I, was, I always wanted a 4K. HDR TV before and sabi ko pag-iipunan ko siya nagkataon lang nanalo tayo ng 4K TV so this is for example this guy is JXR Appliance Trading an actual legitimate seller for TVs and everything he sells the same TV that I have right here that you just you just saw for 31,499 and don't don't pay for the ano don't pay for the 42,000 because that's the SRP right SRP is always not the right price to pay for TVs as you can see, brand new and sealed unit, warranty, Sony Philippines, seven days replacement, two years parts and service. Cash transaction, we accept. Okay, so some of them uh, allow for not cash transaction. I thought 31 14, 499 then, so same price, right? Available for pickup and delivery. Look for Rommel or Gem, shop location, Visayas Avenue and Roosevelt Avenue in uh, Quezon City. So, um, this is one of the best 4K TVs. Romulo Villanueva, thank you for the subscribe. That's a little loud. I'm sorry about that. Um, this is one of the best 4K TVs in the 40 plus, uh, 40 to 50, 40 to 45, 47 inch uh, size range. 43 inch. I, I tell you, don't buy the 49 inch, buy the 43 inch. They have different technologies and arguably most people would prefer the 43 inch. Um, and now, why do you ask, why do I recommend this TV? This is overall one of the best TVs ng, ng in this uh, 4K, right? 4K TV range. The, the number one thing that the X800D or X8000D is better than its competing, brand, competing LG and, and Samsung ones. Keep in mind, there's a cheap LG 4K and a cheap Samsung 4K to be had at about this uh, at much price at 26,000 pesos both of them are 26,000 the number one thing that the Sony does that they don't all of all three 
uh, have HDR, but Sony's is the only one that actually has the backlight that can do proper HDR, right? And we discussed that before. Uh, it, it's, if it's only HDR compatible, it doesn't actually show HDR. If it's HDR capable, then it is compatible with HDR and it shows HDR. Um, so there's a difference there. And Sony, out of the three, is the only one that is HDR uh, capable. Uh, and I, I want to show you what the uh, what the other um, what the other options are when you're looking at LG for a 4K LG. Uh, in a Samsung L a Samsung 4K. So here's the uh, LG 4K, 43 inch, as you can see, same size, uh, and this only 26,900. So that's what, 5,000 less? 5,000 pesos less. And this is still 4K, but keep in mind this is using this model right here, the UF680T is using uh, RGBW pixels. So what's what's an RGBW pixel? That means out of the four point out of the four light sources, first light source is red, first second light source is green, blue and then white. The white is a a, a, temp, a, a, a cheat a measure to cheat the pixel because it only shows white. It can only show bright or dark. Uh, so it's like having pixels like this, and then in between those pixels, you have a gray or gray or black pixel, right? And it it will turn off in, if it's black, and, and then parang bitin yung pixels mo, right? RGBW. That's what they call RGBW. The other TVs, like the Sony ones, is pure RGB. If they want white, all of the RGB lights uh, will light up and it will come up come up as white. That's the cheat that LG does. The Samsung one is slightly better if you're if you're just gonna choose one. And I don't know where to find a Samsung. Let's try let's try Lazada. Let's see, uh, KU six uh, six thousand uh, Samsung KU six thousand. No, here's the one. Hey, 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 here we go. No, that's a four. KU sixty three hundred. Are we looking for the KU six thousand or sixty three hundred? Let's look for the sixty three hundred. Here we go. Here we go. Bakit, bakit 31,000 ito, Mahal? Alright, so, ah, 49 inch. There's a 40 inch version of this or whatever. Anyway. Bakit nga ba? Where did I find that KU6000? The 4K. I wanna say this is it, but it doesn't say 4K. Oh yeah, here, here it is. It's 4K. So here's the Samsung version. The Samsung one that competes with the Sony and the LG. The Samsung, as you can see, is even even more cheaper. Even more cheaper? Is that a term? Even more cheaper? Uh, for 25,000 only, right? And this is HDR as well, 40 inch, so it's a little bit smaller. And this is 4K as well. Uh, Ultra HD as you would expect. This is HDR compatible, but not HDR capable. Now, there's a difference there. But as you can see, this is a decent one. This is RGB pixels, no RGBW. Still, like I said, RGB is better than RGBW. And this is one of the higher reco high, highly recommended TVs avail available. But if you can spare the extra pera, which is about 6,000 pesos, 6,000 pesos lang, you can get that Sony so good. It's so good. It's so good. You have to, I mean, hindi ko pwede pakita sa inyo because you're all watching this on a standard dynamic range monitor display or TV. If you have the new LG G6 or the Samsung Galaxy S8, which has HDR capable displays, and if I had, and, and, and if I had uh, uh, advanced equipment that could encode in HDR, then you will be able to see kung ano yung ganda nung 4K HDR ng Sony. But for now, you have to you have to believe me when I say that you're, you're, um, parang, na, na, ano eh, yung, masisilaw ka sa ilaw sometimes, right? Uh, because of how bright it is. But some parts of the scene are so dark. And then parang, oh my God, parang you have to squint a little bit para ma-block ma out mo yung sobrang nakakasilaw na ilaw. And it's so good. It's so, Alam mo yung pag lumabas ka ng bahay, natulog ka ng tatlong araw sa bahay mo, sobrang dilim ng bahay mo, and then binuksan mo yung pintuan mo, and then, PAK! Tumama, tumama sa yung araw. 
Tapos yung mata mo, woolish. Ba? So, that's that's the difference between standard defi- standard standard uh, uh, dynamic range. Sorry, I keep forgetting. Standard dynamic range versus high dynamic range is yung tak ng ilaw sa mukha mo. Sa mukha mo. Anyway, let's read some comments because I haven't read some co- the comments in a long time now. Uh, let's see. We have 7 people on Facebook and 18 people on uh, YouTube. Thank you for watching. Uh, hope you can feature Spark 32 in SmartLED TV. Oh, don't don't buy that. Wait, well, te- you can buy it. I mean, if you wanted to. Diba nag 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 discounted to ng malaki, diba? This is not full HD. Don't buy this. I mean, if you want to, you can buy it. But this is not full HD. This is 1366 by 768. 1366 by 768, and that's that's just HD plus. That's just HD plus, and and. If you're not looking for a full HD display, it's fine. It's 5,000 pesos for 32 inch. Right? Don't I don't necessarily call it smart. May mga it can probably play mm, YouTube or something like that. Ano ba yung apps niya? But I I for 5,000 sure. Pero I would suggest going up to a full HD TV na. Kasi mura lang naman ng full HD TV na. But of course, if you don't have the money, and if you're not watching HD content anyway, or if you want to watch, you know, 720p content, Spark, it's it's fine. It's fine. 5,000 lang, maliit lang naman yung presyo eh. So, there's nothing to complain about so much. Magantay ka ng mga sale if you have to. But I wouldn't, I ako personally, I wouldn't buy it. Uh, I'd buy a monitor. Uh, maganda din namang LG Ultra HD Until now, Sony pa din gamit ko Salamat sa details, Kuya, no problem Kapag nakita ni Sir Bibo yan, bibili siya Mas malaki siya <laughs> uh, Sabi ni Nolram on Nyron Okay, sana yung X86D Pero 50 inch pa taas Yeah, so masyado na malaki yung 50 inch pa I mean, I don't have that money I just want a, a ba- the smallest Barrier for entry for 4K HDR So I can, you know mm, So good Kapag ba 1080p na video malabo na ba sa 4K TV? No. Um, most 4K TVs, I think all 4K TVs are, you know, that we mentioned, LG, Ultra, uh, LG uh, Samsung, and obviously Sony, may upscaler siya. So it will upscale even 720p, 480p content to 4K. Um, it's not gonna look as good as uh, a f- native 4K, but um, it will look better than just, you know, blowing up, blowing up 480p to to 4K, right? With yung parang parang Photoshop mo lang siya na zoom in. Um, it does a little bit better than that. Um, you may or may not want it, depending on the content. Mo. If you're just watching movies, then blow it up. Eh, eh, no, I mean, i- i- upscale mo siya with the uh, upscalers ng TV. It may option siya on, off, upscale, or whatever. They, they different. They, they have different names for different technologies ng upscalers, depending on the brand. But you, you. Uh, doing a little bit of research, you'll know which ones are upscale uh, software or or, or, or upscale mo- uh, options. Uh, options this thing ng ano? Because this is the stuff that you need to know when you're playing games, for example. Because when you're playing games, you don't you don't necessarily want to upscale because upscaling will add a little bit of lag to to your uh, to your TV. Every single bit of processing adds a little lag to your TV. Normally, that doesn't really matter because you're just watching TV. So, you're watching movies, it, kahit 30 seconds yung lag ng TV, hindi mo naman papansin because you're watching 30 seconds late. But if you're playing a game, when you press a button, pag hindi tumalon si Mario, there's a problem. So, you have to weigh the facts that if you have to be interactive with the content that you're playing or watching, then you have to lower the lag as much as possible. So for games, I disable all processing uh, 4K TV, which still looks great because it's a 4K TV. But that's when, you know, magba blocky blocky yung mga pixels, obviously. If you add processing, it will smoothen out lahat ng stuff, but it will add just a little bit of lag. And if you're watching Netflix, it doesn't matter. Just en- enable everything. <coughs> Dapat touchscreen para pwede mag weather report. Uh, Persona 5 pa more. Maganda ang repro- color reproduction ng HDR. Immersive. Okay, so we didn't get that many comments after the fact. Um, so, okay. Welcome to the show. Let's do it. Oh, we were supposed to talk about the uh, the, the thing. Okay. 
Let me show you my cabinet. Actually, I have a link to the my Facebook page on cabinet now. Sorry about that. I forgot that we were talking about the cabinet as well. So let's do it. All right. So the cabinet is here's a photo of the uh, the, the 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 background the thing. I posted the uh, by the way. Pop plug ko lang, short plug. If you want more uh, gaming content from me, Mr. Kokak person, uh, if you're if you just want to be part of the Kokak family, please go to uh, please join, please like our or subscribe to I am Kokak, which is a YouTube channel. <laughs> let's let's uh, <laughs> super plug na natin. This is like five paid paid advertisement to I am Kokak. <laughs> so, uh, if you like to see more gaming content, gaming streams mostly from me, I have a channel called I Am Kohak. This is the link. Actually, you can you can get to the you can get to my YouTube link, which is bit.ly slash kohakyt, and that will get you to the channel, which is I Am Kohak. If you wanna join us on Facebook, it's I Am Kohak. Wala pa akong, uh, short link for I Am Kohak. Just search I Am Kohak. And this is where we stream gameplay and stuff like this, which is my waifu. Look at that. That's wallpaper. That's ama an amazing wallpaper. Um, so yeah, if you wanna, I'm mostly playing Persona Five right now, so that's it. All right, let's talk about. Um, Koya na try mo na yung bagong YouTube na may material design. I have not, have not tried. I, I, I'm a. Hindi ako mahilig sa ani. Parang when when it's beta, I don't want to play beta games. Um, let's see. Okay, so here's the link to our. It's here's our yung yung ating cabinet. When I built it, this is how I built it. Or I mean, this is the final product ng cabinet. This is what it looks like. Uh, and here is where I bought it from. This is Lucky Man. If you want the link, I'll post the link on the chat. Uh, copy link address. Uh, here is. Here is the cabinet uh, in my. From Lazada, then yeah. So pinoskoy yung link sa ating chat. Should be able to see it soon. Okay. Um. <laughs> the mobile double in chat chat niya. So here's the cabinet. It's 764 pesos, as you can see right here. Uh, it's got a lot of reviews, but it doesn't look like this. Obviously, Tignan, nakita niyo yung. Look at my photo here. This is the one that, that it actually came out, and this is the photo. This is the photo that is actually on the Lazada. So, so don't follow the photo, right? The photo is a little bit exaggerated. The actual unit looks like this, right? That's a different... I think they're actually selling this one for a more expensive price. <coughs> sturdy pala siya since mga electronics and related items na nilagay mo. It's relatively sturdy, pero hindi ko siya bibabagsakan ng mabibigat na gamit. So... What does it look like? Ngapa? We have a better photo than the I am Kokak page. We have a more detailed photo than the I am Kokak page. So let's go to the I am Kokak page. Uh, and the photo is where? Here. There it is. So here it is with, you know, games, boxes. Yung boxes na to, generally, they're not full, right? Uh, the, uh, the motherboard box may mga laman yan. But. None of these are like, you know, these are not toolboxes, right? Hindi siya parang super bigat na toolboxes or anything. Um, I have other things. Itong sa ibabaw, wala pang laman. Uh, actually, may konti, but papel-papel lang. Hindi, this is ano, this is not a permanent fixture sa ibabaw. May mga inilagay kong oro kan sa taas. That's not permanent, so don't worry about that. Um, and here's the 4K TV, as you can see. And then we have another table here with the Surface Pro. Um, yeah, work in progress, work in progress. The lights, 450 pesos, hindi pa permanent yun kasi hindi pa, na, hindi pa nakadikit yung wires and hindi pa na permanent yung wires and everything. Uh, so yeah, 764 pesos. There's a purple one for 764 then. No image available, unfortunately. And then there's a red one. There you go, which is 764 then. So if you want the purple or the red, that's fine by me. I chose the gray. So there you go. Um, yeah, Lucky Man Class A. I can. Yeah, I posted the link earlier, so you know where it is. Um, nobody asked about the lights, so I'm going to post the lights. Uh, the lights is just generic G RGB lights. Um, 450 pesos for that one that I got. Yung YouTube channel with Wish FM 107.5 na shutdown ng YouTube dahil sa copyright. 
Uh, Android freak. So actually, ang naba ng nabalita ako jan with YouTube uh, with with Wish FM na. Uh, Teka lang, kailangan ko lower yung volume ng music ko sa aking uh, headphones. <laughs> Hindi ako makakonsentrate. Eh. Masyado siyang malakas eh. Alright, so what I heard about the Wish FM 107.5 na uh, channel, why it got brought down was because there's a policy si YouTube na you can't post sponsored content without tagging it as sponsored content. Alright? Ulitin ko lang kasi medyo mahirap maintindihan and especially if you're not a YouTuber, hindi siya may hindi mo ma, ano, and di mo ma, hindi mo masyado ma, mapipick up. Right? You cannot post sponsored content without declaring it. May kasi pag nag-upload ka ng video, si Norms alam yan kasi may nakikita niya yan everyday when he's uploading. When you upload a video and it's a sponsored video, like somebody paid you to put your video in this 1 million subscriber channel to advertise the product, you have to check a box. Raja Sammy, thank you for the subscribe. You have to check a box that says this uploaded video is a sponsored video. Because if you don't check that, there are legal ramifications and uh, ano to? not fair use. Eh. There was a. Mm, it's not about tax. It not, it's not about. Ano, it's about the Federal Trade Commun FTC? What's a Federal Trade something that prohibits content that is. Uh, uh, paid for as an advertisement to be labeled as a, a to be misleading as a something like an actual review or something like that. Anyway, there, there's a lot of wording there. But, but anyway, ang, ang punot dulo nun is from what I hear, si, si Wish FM 107.5 hindi dine declare yung videos niya na is sponsored ng produkto na i advertise yung produkto na yun, and nagkakaso siya from YouTube because hindi niya declare na sponsored yung video niya. Mara uh, this is actually pretty normal. Yung marami ka naman nakikita sponsored content from a lot of hindi sa atin. Well, ma lahat tayo we, we, sa BTS we don't we don't we don't get our I mean, I, hindi ako papayag na ma-influence yung ano na. If I do talk about something, it's not gonna be sa, hindi hindi binibigay sa akin yung information na yun to say. Ah, ang ganda ng Coca Mobile or something. Hindi ako bayad na I don't. I don't. I will not accept sponsorships in the form of babayaran ako to tell you about a product that is good. I won't accept that. Um, so hindi ako tinatamaan yan. But there are some YouTubers na tinatamaan yan. Like one you know, like 107.5. And if you have a bigger channel, you are more prone to this because it's more uh, a bigger trouble for YouTube to actually fix that uh, legal issue. Anyway. Uh, Norm says, mas sabi dyan na yung YouTube pumapakit ng konti yung policy. Well, uh, YouTube on its own, I, I think, you know, the, pro the the thing with YouTube is, parang si Linus, for example. Yes, si Linus, makikita mo talaga may, uh, this, pay, this, po, this video includes paid promotion. Makikita mo kay, kay Linus Tech Tips. Uh, because he's following all of that uh, declarations and stuff like that. Plus, makikita mo naman si Linus when you watch his... Um, Cash flow video. He he says he's not reviews. Nila will always be honest, but he will do sponsored videos. Um, they're not reviews, no money. When he does sponsored videos, so anyway, this, or the sponsors are unrelated to. For example, when he talks about uh, you know, uh, anion, <laughs> uh, D brand. <laughs> when he talks about D brand, uh, that kind of uh, sponsorship does not is not related to the product at hand. Typically, D brand lang is they actually pro, D brand provides the actual phone uh, for Linus to review, which is nice. Um, so anyway, that's a that we, I, I digress. So it's sort of very far from our topic, but welcome to the show anyway. Everybody, welcome to the show. Welcome to the big time show. Today we are streaming on multiple platforms, and then pumalpak tayo sa isang platform sa Facebook because we are stupid people. I am stupid person. Pala hindi not everybody. Um. So today is uh, May the sixth, twenty seventeen, and um, there has been phones from the Philippines. <laughs> May bagong phones from the Philippines. Guess what? Guess what? Oh my God! 
there's phones from the Philippines. <laughs> um, so on topics natin for this week includes uh, um, I believe it's Oppo F3 and then si Star Mobile may bago, right? Yeah, Star Mobile Up Prime and Play Dash. And then si Microsoft nag sa bagong Surface na laptop. I don't, I don't. Oh, yeah, si Antonio Villanueva. Oh my God, nag ng super chat si Antonio Arenas. This is, I, I actually wanted to actually do this initially na parang monitor YouTube super chat as well. Kaya lang medyo mat- matrabaho, but uh, holy crap. Pop out chat, let's see. Includes, uh, Sorry, hindi ko nakita Antonio Arenas. 25 pesos. Thank you, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Kasi yung, our, our chat technology now is the chat technology no restream, which don't necessarily um, monitor yung super chat. Unfortunately, I I don't know. Kasi, okay, so let me just, okay, let's let's do a heart-to-heart ng konte para maiba tayo. Um, the reason why I'm re- I'm streaming to multiple platforms now, I'm streaming to uh, Facebook, I'm streaming to Periscope, I'm streaming to Twitch, and obviously, ang classic natin, which is YouTube, where everybody is right now. Binubuhay na naman nila spread through. By the way, Antonio Arenas, thank you very much for the the super chat. Um, magahanap tayo ng way para magkaroon ng super chat prompt. Uh, Bukod sa ano, bu- out of, out of, bukod dito sa ating ano, kasi, well, now we can't do the super chat thing because I'm not using YouTube live chat, which is here. This is YouTube live chat. There he goes, Antonio Arenas. Thank you, thank you. Um, report that. <laughs> so as you can see, that's yung kanyang uh, super chat. But we are using this chat right now, which is from Restream, which includes uh, chat from Facebook, uh, from everybody, from from Twitch. And from Periscope, um, I, I think uh, alam yun naman yung reason why we're streaming on multiple platforms now. I mean, Periscope wala masyad, it's it's not that important, but I would like to open that demographic to us for people who want to watch uh, the stream from from basically Periscope is Twitter, right? Uh, I'm streaming to twi- uh, Twitch as well, cause I I just want to stream to Twitch and build, build my build the community there from Twitch. Uh, mostly ang nilalagay ko sa Twitch is obviously games natin. But if ever wa- anybody wants to watch BTS from the comfort of their Twitch client or something, we're going to open that. Then I ko lang kung working gamit ko pay Maya. Eh. Yeah, pay Maya. Yeah. Uh, nice. Nice one. Um, so at least we can confirm that pay Maya works for <laughs> for for uh, super chat. Thank you though for the 25 pesos. <laughs> Uh, binu- b- Beron pang events in Microsoft on May 23. Yes, we're gonna stream that. And also, I'm gonna see if we can stream the Microsoft Build conference. Um, I don't know how merong importante don. Or actually, mahirap si ani. Mahirap may follow si ani. Si Microsoft Build for the stream. Kasi nandito siya. Eh. Okay, so tigmo yan. So, um, and then where's the one? Microsoft Build. Wait, what is this? Carol, what? What is a, what? No, 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 no. <coughs> Sorry. Microsoft build live streaming May 10 to 12. How we, how do we stream it? It doesn't say. You know, problem with this, eh? this channel 9msdm.com is not such a uh, events, events, events. Not such a helpful uh, website here. So we go to Microsoft build and oh, what is this? Uh, zero episodes. What? See, th- this is the reason why. Mahirap siyang, mahirap siyang co- uh, no, cover, cover in. But we'll try. We'll try what we can to do uh, to cover it. Uh, let's close this, this, that, and that. We'll try our best to cover it as much as we can. Um, but definitely, yung yung Microsoft event on September twenty three is gonna be super important for us. Uh, I think Surface Pro five is gonna or Surface Phone. What do you think? Uh, may, maybe, 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 maybe. Okay, so let's start the show. It's ten forty two. <clears throat> what is up guys? Alex here from the Technical Class. What? I don't know Alex is on board. What the fuck? What is up guys? Alex here from the Technical Class and you're watching the big time show. 
It is Saturday, May the 6th, 2016. And we have an interesting show. <laughs> Alam nyo na ito, sanay na kayo dito eh. Parang nabubor na ata kayo sa, in- sa, ano natin, sa intro natin eh. So, <laughs> na lang. Let's go back to our regular programming. So, welcome to the show. Um, and it's another Saturday today. We have some interesting news. Uh, like I said, Star Mobile Up Prime and Play Dash ang ating local brand for today. And I have no idea what the Oppo F3 is because wala kong events ng Oppo. But we'll find out. Um, and I, I don't know. Is that it? Wala na ba tayong... Pwede kang mag-load ng... Tingnan natin yung Lazada na load. Here's a bit of news that is interesting for a lot of people. The Coca Night Show, a.k.a. the Piñata Show. Bakit Piñata? Ano nangyari? Oh, there's a studio. What? Ano to? Nani ko 999. With fluorescent light. Bob holder. Wait. May laman may bulb na ba or wala pang bulb? These kind of things are obviously para sa photography and videography. <laughs> okay, um nasaan yung pag-load? Paano mag-load dito sa sa Lazada? Does anybody know? <clears throat> Paano mag-load? Buy a Coke bundle, get a free limited Coca-Cola USB 984. What the hell is a Coke bundle? They sell Coke in Lazada now. They sell produce. They sell groceries. I mean, that they meron silang milk. I saw milk in Lazada before. So, Royal 24 pieces with free Coca-Cola Bean Hub. <gasps> what is that? What? Bean Hub? USB Hub? Why is it called a Bean Hub? 492 pesos for 24 pieces of so, take the 20 pesos bawat isang ano. Bawat isang royal. <laughs> I want to see more food. I want to see more food on Lazada. Because I want to see like super rare food. Like, <clears throat> yung load nasa upper right. Thank you, thank you. Oh, there you go. Napakaduling ko talaga. Thank you, Farmer Sanchez. <laughs> okay. Uh, payment methods accepted is MasterCard or Visa. No cash and delivery. Unfortunately, effortly load your mobile phone in seconds, and it's currently only for Smart and Sun. Launch special 10% discount on all load. Ah, coming soon, Globe load. So unfortunately, wala pang Globe. But do I do I do I tell you what I? Okay, this is not gonna be for everybody, and I bet it's like out of out of 20 people watching, walang magiging interesado dito. Not not restream. Sorry, <laughs> recharge. So, here's what I use to load my Globe SIM um, on the LTE router. On the LTE router. So, <coughs> pahanap naman kuya kung may Titan Gel sa Lazada. What the hell is a Titan Gel? Baka bastos yan, ha? Baka bastos yan. There you go, Titan Gel. <laughs> ano ba? Lubricant with instructional... Manual inside Bastos Okay, wa Hindi, pero I mean, na, na, nakita na naman natin dati There's actually Sex toys in Lazada And and uh, I, I don't think that's a bad thing You know Everybody's got their own tastes Alam ko si Si RJ Villamer talaga Kailangan <laughs> Naghahanap pala talaga ng Titan Gel So anyway If you are in Super duper Mega emergency Right? And you really need to load your smart globe sun sim. Pokakchel ng bayan. <laughs> loko loko kayo, ha? <clears throat> uh, if you really need to load your smart smart sun globe. Actually, I never tried it on smart or anything. I only tried this on globe. So I can confirm that if you really need uh, to load your, your globe sim online. Here's the, on, here's the one I, that I use. Uh... I call it is called recharge.com. Awakin ng tao sa ano sa Titan Gel. Recharge.com is like tapos pag nakita niyo nasa Philippines kayo, lalagyan niyo ng slash /en-ph. <coughs> now, <coughs> I I think payment system anong payment dito. So payment methods is Visa, MasterCard or PayPal. So okay lang. But keep in mind, may extra fee, may extra fee ito. Um 
when you want to load something like 500 pesos a globe load it usually costs like seven uh, no not seven 560 pesos so i add another 60 pesos para lang magload and most people will say holy shit hindi ko babayaran yung 60 pesos pupunta na lang ako sa kanto bibili ako ng load ng globe um but for me i'm a lazy ass person and sometimes i need to load my globe sim uh in an emergency or um ayoko lumabas ng bahay or uh, nagkulong ako sa bahay or walang tao sa ano i can't leave the house or hating gabi alas dos ng gabi right and actually four out of five times alas dos ng gabi ako naglo-load ng globe sim ko because i need it for lte sa pampanga ngayon naka fiber na tayo sa manila so i just paid the extra 60 pesos kasi sa totoo lang yung 60 pesos na yun pamasahin nyo lang yun eh gagastusin mo rin yun eh kung lumabas ka ng bahay so I rather stay at home, in the comfort of my home. I don't have to stand. I don't have to do anything. I just pay the extra 60 pesos na loda na yung globe ko. So just in case, emergency, you need it online. Nasa bundok ka, may internet ka lang sa bundok, pero walang tindahan sa inyo. Pwede na to. Pero kung may tindahan sa inyo, and okay ka lang, nakatsapatos naka sa patos, so chinelas ka na, go ahead. Lumabas ka na. <clears throat> Nga, ano si RJ uh, Minsan na nga lang nanood <laughs> Pwede na rin Lalo na kung walang loading station Exactly That's what I Yeah That's my, that's my point Or Kung ayaw mo lang talaga lumabas ang bahay Or alas dos ng umaga na So Wala na yata LTE now Kasi puro na may cap Na smart ma, Ano? Smart The smart man Or mag globe cap na LTE Okay So Mulong uh, From Davao uh, Is one of our friends uh, that uh, has a smart uh, home, wait, PLDT home fiber pala, sorry. Um, yeah, so, totoo yan. When you're using buckets, uh, all of the buckets, like, you know, Gigasurf or Unlisurf, may Unlisurf pa ba ngayon, right? Or whatever, anyway. I use Gcash, sabi ni Ul Piano to Edubos. Uh, may 5% discount pa, just dial 143 sharp uh, or star 143 sharp. Yeah, I, I don't have Gcash though, unfortunately. Hindi ako, I don't understand. I never pa akong, I, I understand what Gcash is. Uh, just never decided to actually use uh, any. Actually, binibigyan ako ni Globe ng Gcash card pa minsan minsan, but there's so many cards to manage and I get tired. I get tired. So I only have one credit. I, I just use a one credit card and then. I do have a PayMaya, which I ginagawa ko lang to, for example, may, may transaction, may kunwari, ah, bibiling ko yan, but malayo ako, just put put the money in pay, in my PayMaya, so it actually eases the transaction burden. May bumibili pa ba ng Cherry Mobile compared dati, mukhang open na number one dito. I don't know kung sino number one dito. I think Firefly Mobile, medyo popular, but in terms of high-end, Oppo, medyo mataas din. SKK pa rin mga ulol. Norm says, medyo limited si Kokang Mobile. Yun, honest yun. <laughs> Pag-uusapan ba natin si Anis today? Sa so, totoo lang, wala. Nako. <laughs> si Gcash ata Amex, if I'm not mistaken. Probably. Probably. I, sobrang tinatamad akong pag-aralan niyo si Gcash eh. I actually... Oh my God. Ano naman ako sa sipon? Asan yung ating... Uh, fix? There you go. It's these things, they're not for your throat or anything, but you know what? Why the what the hell, right? Let's put it on, see if it helps. Um, meron din si Visa and tag dito Visa Pay Wave, I think. Yun ang hirap nun eh. There's actually you need a you need a bank account pa talaga to activate and then activate that visa. There is no literally like something PayMaya is relatively simple. You know, gusto ko sa PayMaya. It's not that I. It's not that it's because smart or anything. If if Globe had the same product, I would recommend it wholeheartedly. The the reason why I recommend PayMaya is because it's only a text away, and you already have a PayMaya account. That's literally ganun lang siya, which is nice. Um, and I wish GCash was like that because right now hindi ko pa, I can't fat I can't understand GCash right now. It's just. Is it a credit card? Is it a debit card? Is it a postpaid account? Literally, sobrang, sorry, I know Gcash has been around for like forever. 
wala lang wala lang talaga sa utak ko I just don't want to read about it because it's I know it's not something I need I have cash or I have an actual credit card um, and I've survived on that card thankfully my credit card ako for a lot of my purchases nung, nung sobrang um, like let's say let's say five years ago five years ago there's so many things I like like I started my YouTube I mean not, not my YouTube channel actually most of my look, think about it I basically started my YouTube channel by buying by buying a camera on my credit card, basically. Um, and most of these products would not have been possible without you know a lot of my YouTube, a lot of my I know uh, I wouldn't be able to register my uh, my domain, thetechnoclass.com, kung wala akong credit card, right? Uh, my parents, well. They're your typical traditional parents na. And I ayo, I hindi ako kay credit card or hindi tayo. Like, ano gagawin mo diyan? Gastos hindi ato kasi they don't understand what online is. So, tayo, we are the new generation. We need to be the ones who start using that. And th- I I thank the gods that I that do have I I got the credit card when I got the credit card because it enabled me to do a lot more than I could. You know, I could buy, you know, lights for my studio or studio quote unquote. I can buy a camera, tripod, everything to enable me to create the content that I wanted to create. Uh, Farmer Sanchez, Mastercard yung card nila. Optional ang registration ang Amex. Pareho lang sa Paymaya ang Gcash. Okay. Pwede ba gamitin Paymaya para makabili ng Steam games or sa Origin? Yes. Um, the, I haven't tried it on Origin, but definitely Steam. Definitely, definitely Steam. Um, it could be used as itself. As PayMaya itself, or you could match the PayMaya account with your PayPal account, and then use the PayPal to pay for uh, pretty much anything online if you match it on on PayMaya. Debit card with Mastercard, pa billions. Same lang sa PayMaya ang gigas. You can load it. Ah, nice. So. I've never actually read about Gcash, but if that's if it's the, as easy as you say it is, and if it's like PayMaya, then good on Gcash. I, I like it then. Uh, right, no gamit ko for buying games online is PayPal. PayMaya is basically a virtual debit card. You can transfer PayPal funds to get Gcash in seconds. Oh, okay, nice. I try ko ang PayMaya via NCIX. So, um, one thing I like about Gcash or PayMaya, uh, it looks like pareho lang yung features nila, is you can you can buy oh, not not you can buy stuff yes, but also you can have people transfer money to you. And isa sa mga features na sinasabi ko lagi with PayMaya, which apparently is also with Gcash, is for example, merong kang uh, let's say. Let's say nanay siya, right? Eh, very tech savvy yung nanay. And nag-aaral yung anak niya sa Maynila. And then si nanay nasa probinsya. Or nag-aaral yung anak niya sa probinsya, si nanay nasa Maynila. Or families that send money to... Nag- nagtatrabaho yung si tatay sa Maynila. And then yung pamilya niya, yung asawa niya nasa probinsya. Now normally, these people would send money through remittance. Right, so remittance is basically anian, uh, uh, LBC, right? Pero padala, all that. Or I, I don't know the other brands. But with PayMaya or GCash, apparently, there is no cost to sending money to PayMaya. Pupunta ka lang sa 7-Eleven, you plop down isang libo. The the whole 1,000 pesos will be transferred to their account via PayMaya. Right? Um, walang cost. Walang extra damage sa yun because that's what the feature is. Um, this also works with something like ako ginagawa ko minsan is um, bebenta ko yung cellphone ko kaya lang taga X and Y probinsya siya, right? Um, so sa sabi ko okay, bigyan mo bi, bag, i, i, imbis na padala mo yung pera sa akin via LBC which will cost you another something something money to send me the money and it will take one day over, right? Every time nagparimit ka you have to wait 24 hours before pumunta ka ng LBC to pick up your money. And also, you still have to go to LBC to pick up your money. But in, with PayMaya or Gcash, 
Pumunta lang sila sa 7-Eleven wherever they are sa probinsya X and Y. They send the money through Paymaya or 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 GCash. And then what text ka lang naman sa telepono mo saying, "Okay, 3,000 pesos what sent was sent to or deposited to your Paymaya account or GCash account." So now instantly alam mo na nabayaran ka na. Instantly, you don't have to wait 24 hours, you don't have to go to LBC, fill up a form na parang here's my name, here's my address, here's my um here's my here's my driver's license, whatever. So has it, right? Um Instantly, nasa telepono mo na, okay, I got 3,000 pesos, good. Okay, alam ko na. Now I can ship the product instantly. Kasi ako, I ship products with Zend. So, hindi na ako lumalabas ng bahay. Just wait for the delivery guy. Hey, here's the Zend. Here's where you deliver it to. You know, mas mura pa. I don't have to go to LBC, fill up some paperwork, and wah! Matrabaho. <laughs> Sorry. This is a particularly specific problem that I encounter a lot. So... A lot of people will not encounter this same problem a lot, um, but I'm just offering that solution for you because it's a very good solution. <clears throat> yung salasada yung actual load lang babayaran mo or may dagdag din. Hindi ko alam actually. Hindi ko rin na try eh, <laughs> Farmer Sanchez. Good PM po late. Ako kuya tapos na basi Star Mobile. Hindi pa. We'll talk about Star Mobile immediately after this. RJ, RJ Villamer says, use M710 keyboard and mouse bundle. Pag-check naman sa Lazada, kuya kung okay siya. Mura eh. They use M710. This one? 499? Professional mechanical keyboard. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Rainbow LED ba- light keyboard, special material made keycap, na- rational, ano, rational artificial science design. Plus weight keyboard provides stability. Mouse is designed based on Darth Vader Star Wars. <laughs> Professional 6D sensitivity mouse. Made with braided wire. Oh, nice. Enhanced endurance. Breathing LED light while using it. Eh, I think it's okay. Siguro, I mean, it's perfectly, it's probably okay. Not not the best, but okay. Impossible mechanical toy. This is definitely membrane. <laughs> it's impossible. Nakasulat uh, talaga professional mechanical gaming keyboard. What the hell? Mm. Let's read some reviews here. Pros, aesthetic and suspended keys, nice price for computer shops, mouse was nice feel when using it. Cons, not a real mechanical keyboard, no way to turn the LED lights on without turning the scroll lock. What? Mouse optical red light overpower the LED lights in it. Uh, very nice keyboard and worth it. For those who don't know how to turn on the backlight, just press fraction plus scroll lock. Um, <clears throat> it's not mechanical keyboard, puede na, pero for advertising... Fast delivery earlier than expected, but the description professional mechanical keyboard not true. Um, yung mga kuya ko kala nila sira ang keyboard sabi magreport ako rasada di lumilitaw led lights haha. Pagdating ko sa bahay yun agad ang kinalikod ko ha patawa talaga. Great job rasada thanks to the fast feature. It's okay 500 pesos go ahead but if you want quality keyboard and mouse no. If you want a cheap one, go ahead. It's like most likely mga CDR King le- mas mataas ng konti sa CDR King level siguro to. Um, sa CDR King may benta silang mechanical keyboard around 1200. Totoong mechanical ba yung sa CDR King? Uh, read the reviews, dito ata mechanical membrane, membranical. <laughs> mechanical yan pero isang pintot lang yung keys. Ah, uh, yung copyright kaya niyo sa naging Farfly. Ah, uh, yun nga eh, professional mechanic. Yeah, so me personally I wouldn't buy it obviously kasi hindi hindi sa social ako but I I want, you know, better better peripherals. Right? Ah, uh, ma- alam niyo na you know me naman eh. I I bought uh, my my mechanical keyboard of choice. Ngayon kasi may ni-review tayo mechanical product right now. Uh, which is the Galax. Nakita niyo na 'to eh. Ayo kong hatakin kasi baka magkagulo-gulo yung ano ko. Here's the keyboard. Here's the re- keyboard that I'm reviewing right now. And uh na, dito nakakabit yung aking microphone. So may wag nating wag nating sirain. 
<laughs> Kasi it's it's got a it's got a USB hub. So naka-extend yung USB hub and then do nakakabit sa USB hub yung microphone ko. Anyway, this one what I'm reviewing right now is about 5,000 pesos. So this is not the the affordable me- mechanical keyboard that I want would recommend to you. Um, but I do like uh, a little bit of extra quality sa ating, you know, products that we use every day. For example, this mouse that I'm using is a CM Storm Sornet, which I bought for 900 pesos back in... I want to say this was 2008. It'll be the Fox. What's up? Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go, actually, if you, if you really want some discussion about cheap, uh, affordable mechanical keyboards... I have some highlighted dito sa wishlist ko eh. I just need to log in first so I don't I don't want to show you what's what my login is. Okay, let's check out my wishlist because there's a lot of interesting stuff in my wishlist. Uh, yeah, I want to send Heiser Game Zero. I just don't have the money. Alright, so, oh, wala na si AP Zero? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, what other things that I have here? Here's one, Gigaware, Gigaware A Jazz. Did you review this one? This is 1,400 pesos for uh, Zoro Blue Switches. And this is what, 10 key less? No, this is a 68%, oh, 82 key. 82 key mechanical keyboard for 1,400. Um, I keep track of these keyboards because I'm thinking of, you know, making a feature about cheap mechanical keyboards someday. If I do have the money and want to produce something like this, but sometimes in the, sometimes when you produce something on YouTube, it doesn't pay. Uh, it doesn't give you back the money you spent. So medyo malulugi ka lang. And I don't want to have like a mechanical keyboard, another mechanical keyboard laying around the house because I have I have keep I have this keyboard. I have another mechan. My I told you what my what I spent the the the. the my main mechanical keyboard that I spent like years on is the Dragon War Atomos. I bought it for 3,000 pesos about a year and a half ago. Um, that's not bad. I, I bought it for about a year and a half ago. It's uh, a data bliss for 3,000 pesos. The, the, the time na binili ko siya, more than 3,000 pesos for a mechanical keyboard. Um, these days, Sky's the limit. It gets cheaper and cheaper every day, and they're they're decent. The the quality is decent. So, right, you got all you, all you have to do is wait. Here's the uh, Dragon War Atomos. Uh, the colors are fixed, right? Um, they're not individually lit. Wait, are they? No, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't think they're individually lit. Um, but it is a kale blue switch, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty good keyboard. And don't I'm not. I don't want to pick it up because we're not going to get Where's my YouTube? Where did it go? Um, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend this keyboard anymore because it's gotten uh, mechanical keyboards have gotten way cheaper than three thousand pesos. But I've used this for a while, and uh, you know, it's not bad. It's just it's not it's not cheaper. There are cheaper keyboards now. Um, so yeah. The <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about your uh, what is this? Antagon? Zeus. But if you want a cheap keyboard and mouse, go ahead. I don't really support that decision. But if you're really strapped for cash, why, what the hell? Why the hell not, right? All right. Uh, let's talk about that Star Mobile. Them Star Mobiles, right? Oh yeah. I know advantage of mechanical keys. Well, they feel so much better, basically. Um, Y- yun lang yung ano eh. That's that's uh that's the be be all and end all of the reasoning behind mechanical keyboards is um, they feel so much better. Especially the the blue keys are best for typing because um, they click so well. Um, okay, give me five seconds. Ah, here's my dragon war. All right, so here's the Dragon War Tomo. You can hear the clicks. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so these are super clicky keyboards because they're blue switches. 
The blue switches are best for typing because you hear every single click, 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 right? Um, for gaming, you don't necessarily not need to have blue switches, um, especially if you're super duper OCD about your speed of clicking because the, the blue switch, um, if I'm not mistaken, una una, ang, ang click point niya is nasa gitna, right? May click point siya sa gitna, click, but people t tend to bottom this down. And then I think yung actuation niya is dulo, bottom. Right? You can't you can't press this in midway and then bitawan, right? You can't do that for blue switches. For the more gaming oriented switches. Um El, Ed, Ed, Ed Dubo, thank you for the subscribe. I know you have a first name, but the um Ulpiano Ed, uh, El Ulpiano Il Edubos man, Il I L or Double L something. Anyway, thank you for the subscribe. Um the blue switch not necessarily good for gaming, but a lot of a lot of people like me use this for gaming because I like the click. Um, the other switches are better for gaming because so on the other switches, konting pindut mo lang. You don't need to hit the bottom. Konting pindut mo lang na uh, it will actuate na yung yung konting din mo lang. For example, W. Konting din mo lang sa W a antar ka na, right? Um, yes, yeah, Tama si Christian Montes. There's a red switch. Uh, those are the the most gamer focused switches are red. Uh, the traditional switches b are vary between uh, the green. I mean, sorry, green. <laughs> the blue, the red, and the brown. Um, and then red is pinaka ano. They're the shortest throw at the shortest push in. Um, and hindi siya. I don't know how maingay or not. I forgot, but. The brown ones are typical the the quiet ones. The brown ones are the quiet ones and the keyboard that I have right now that I showed you earlier is the brown one. Um, they're best for gaming slash uh, workstation uh, office work. So I'm gonna type on this right now and see if you can hear it. Alright, so the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. I don't know if you picked that up. I mean the microphone is Hindi nakaturo dun sa, dun sa keyboard, but I, hopefully you can hear that. Um, it's a little bit more quiet. It feels a little bit more membrane sa totoo lang. And oh, I pressed the graduation theme song on my soundboard. Um, oh, <laughs> timely, timely, kasi graduation na, diba? It's it's May. <laughs> si, si Jam pala. By the way, uh, if you if you guys know who Jam Mancheta is, which is uh, another host of BTS, he just graduated from Adamson. For, uh, and course niya is computer engineering. So congratulations to Jam and Cheta. So yeah, blue switch. I love the blue switch. I love typing kasi. So the the, the feel of the pa 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 is so good. Um so honestly for for the most part, ang colors ng switches is personal preference, right? Um so whether you like blue, whether you like red, whether you like uh, uh brown, or there's also the black one. Those are semi-new. Um, there's also uh, obviously si Razer has the the brown uh, the the green switches that they all. Um, so the thing is, switches are now out of patent. So usually that they uh, congrats Angry Jam. That they may patent si Cherry for all of the mechanical switches that uh, uh, that keyboards use. But these days, wala na silang patent or the patent has last. So everybody can make uh, mechanical switches now for a keyboard. So you can see a lot of the the, uh, the switches for my my Dragon War Atomos, which is a blue switch, is made by Kaelf. Where's my webcam? Wait, is this Kaelf? Yes, it is Kaelf. And where's my webcam? So you can see that's a blue switch right there inside. Um. So. You don't necessarily have to have Cherry MX switches, right? Uh, those are just preferred, right? If you can get a Cherry MX, the better. But these days, any decent mechanical switch will last you a long time and it feels so good. So honestly, it doesn't matter what switch you prefer, which color you prefer, which brand you prefer. As long as it's mechanical and you feel the difference between the the quality of a, of a mechanical switch versus a membrane switch, um, then you are part of the the 
the breed of mechanical switch users. And and I have to tell you, I I can't go back to a membrane switch now. A membrane switch ako dyan na feature ko dun sa isa kong video ng, ng review ng Galaxy Sniper Mousepad ko. Sobrang pangit niya ng pakiramdaman. And, and I can't believe I played games on that for a long, long time. Um, but like I said, medyo social... Kung totoo, sin, may pagka-social choice yung mechanical switch. Eh. You can... Honestly, if you're... F- you should be perfectly fine playing on... Playing and typing on membrane switches. All the time. It's just personal feeling. Like, it's like how you... It's the feeling of, let's say, kung nagmamaneo ka, if it's a really... It doesn't have to be a really good car, but the car feels good, right? Comfortable ka sa kotse, maganda yung upuan mo, maganda yung, yung tapakan ng gasolina, and yung steering wheel and everything. You feel the the good uh, nature of the steering wheel, hindi ko maganda yung ano. Um, uh, I would only compare if, if the membrane is... The car works perfectly fine. Let's say a membrane, if a membrane car works perfectly fine. It's just it doesn't feel as good. You know. And if it, it and if and if to you that is not is not worth three thousand pesos worth or whatever, then go ahead buy the the keyboard, the membrane keyboard, which you membrane keyboard kunan dito, which I was talking about, is like two hundred pesos that I bought. It's a Logitech K one twenty, a really good keyboard, except it's a membrane. All right, let's. Uh, sorry, sorry if I'm talking too much about the the mechanical keyboard stuff. By the way, sub- subscribe to the I am Kokak YouTube and like <laughs> like the I am Kokak Facebook fan page. Let's move on to Star Mobile. Sorry about that. Sorry about buying so much time. Starmobile.com. <sighs> All right. May blog si Star Mobile, right? So baka meron silang mas madaling Star Mobile blog. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, there we go. Up Prime and Play Dash. And one of these is Nougat, if I'm not mistaken. So, I would prefer if we got to the f- product page instead. Sometimes they have link to their product pages, eh? Up Prime, okay, and Play Dash. There we go. All right, so here's the Star Mobile Up Prime, 4G LTE capable with 700 megahertz band. So slightly better than usual, I guess. We have a 720p display, nice, for 4,000 pesos. Okay, we have a 720p display. Not unfortunately, it's not you know IPS or anything. It's TFT. 3000 milliamp hour battery we have LTE cat 4 with B, with 700 band uh, we have 1 gig of ram that's slightly sad 16 gigs of rom slightly good <laughs> uh, and then 8 megapixel camera with bsi and flash 5 megapixel front um, what are, what are we missing where's the processor oh it's over here Android 7.0 Nougat. Thankful, thank God. Thank God. Boy, RJ William, you're going to Star Mobile. <laughs> May galit ka sa Star Mobile, ko, yeah. Um, We're running on Android 7.0 Nougat. Thank God. Thank God. There is actually... You know what? Even though this is a low-end phone, uh, an entry-level phone, I have to give Star Mobile credit for launching a phone with Nougat in 2017. Because none of the local brands is doing that yet. Right? Okay, so we have SIM slots of uh, Micro Plus Micro. That's dual LTE. MediaTek 6737. That's a quad core. Yeah, 1.25 gigahertz. Quad core ARM Cortex A53. Not the best for gaming, obviously. Entry level of the. And what else should we. Ano kulang? Ano kulang nindi natin alam? There's a camera. Nougat 720. I like that the display is 720p for 4,000 pesos. <clears throat> we have 4G LTE, 700 megahertz, expandable memory, Nougat, large screen. Yeah, the screen is actually pretty good for this price point, 4,000 4, pesos. Yeah. Uh, and at least the local brands. Uh, and then there's the gray. 
There's a rose gold as well. You know what? Not bad. Not good, but not bad. Because obviously you can get Octacore at 5,000 pesos now, diba? <coughs> A prime. It's it's not made of metal, is it? It's probably plastic. You know what? Decent. I'm not complaining. This is decent for me. Online store and Lazada shop. Um, you could do way worse than this. And it's a MediaTek CPU, not a spread drum, so semi decent. <laughs> Nothing to complain about here. I I do like that it's nougat, but it's also not, you know, the highest spec thing ever. Let's take a look at the uh, the Star Mobile Play Dash, which is the other phone that they launched for only two four ninety. Tri band three G. Okay, it's running on. Ang, ang hirap no scroll nila. Hindi ko center yung scroll nila. Okay, Android six point zero Marshmallow Dual Dual Micro or Dual Micro Sims three G. This is the Spreadroom Se Spreadroom seven three seven three one C, which is a one point two gigahertz quad core. Uh, we have a 4.5 inch uh, 854 uh, by 480 and 3G lang siya. There's no LTE. Wait, what can on? Iba yung isang spread room has dual LTE. <clears throat> it's got 1 gig RAM, which is great for this price point. 8 gig ROM, mm, medyo bitin yan. Mahirap na mag install ng stuff. Uh, 8 megapixel front, uh, <laughs> front facing. 8 megapixel fixed focus, so there's no autofocus with BSI and flash. 2 megapixel front and 1700 milliampere battery. That's very small. Uh, but then again, the phone is on the lower side, lower end sides. We have 3G, expandable memory, marshmallow, and quad core power. Looks like a decent phone from the photos. Definitely not going to be interesting to buy because it's got a 4.5 inch. 854 by 480 for 249. You know what? It sobrang no comment. Well, I can't complain, right? Can you can you actually complain? It's a, it's a deep. Unfortunately, nothing exciting though, right? So as usual, nothing to complain about, but seriously, nothing to be excited about. And that's pretty much most of the story some mga local brands kayo, nothing to be excited about. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> May freebies ba siya? Um, travel charger, micro USB cable, earphones with mic. What? Bitin na bitin na freebies ngayon ng Star Mobile. Wala ng case. Oh my god. Charger, micro USB headset. Wala ng case each Star Mobile ngayon. That's crazy. That's crazy. I, I think hirap na hirap na ang local brands ngayon. Um, maybe it's the, our new parang... Maybe the new taxation system natin or something. I don't know. I don't know. But something's amiss with the local brands. I mean, we haven't seen innovation from local brands in two years. Two years, right? I don't understand. Even guys, si B-Boy na inip. Sorry, but si B-Boy ay sa ano is a lost hope in uh, in certain things like YouTube. At least, nag-release si Snapdragon ng SOC sa mag-release si Snapdragon ng SOC sa Mi 9. Yeah, but as usual with any new uh, SOC from Snapdragon, you have to wait like one year before it actually hits um, any phones. Uh, but yes, they will be releasing some new processors. Uh, are we interested in that? Do you want to talk about that next uh, on BTS? Maybe? Uh, maybe, maybe. Um, I forgot, there's going to be an announcement this week, right? Uh, on on the 8th well, well anyway um so yeah those are the new star mobile phones anybody wants to talk about that or should we just finish up the topic yeah eh. <laughs> i guess we should go to the to the i think it's another topic oppo f3 let's talk about the oppo f3 oppo f3 hashtag asking for um i don't know i dislike tire for some reason Yes, we want out There's some new people watching and then they just like. Uh let's see. Oppo F3. May what may ano Oppo? May YouTube si Oppo. Obviously, we might get the time unboxing. Plus a gadget match. Mira kino, intay pa ng konti sigurado may lalabas na flagship phone sa Star Mobile. 
Snapdragon 801 put it. <laughs> we can't watch, we can't, we can't steal content from other people. Um, all right, let's do opo.com. <clears throat> all right, F3 selfie expert. This is, re this was recently launched in the Philippines. For God, for God knows, I don't know how many, how many pesos. Because I wasn't invited, so let's Google that. Uh, let's go to Yugatech. Fine. All right. Uh, Oppo F3 costs what the? F <laughs> why were I? Why was I expecting a decent price for this thing? <laughs> oh my God. What is wrong with people? What the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> it's fucking marshmallow. Uh, what? Can I scratch my head? What's the selling point? The the, the selfie cameras again? Or GLTE, GPS. You pay seventeen thousand for a MediaTek processor, sixty-seven fifty T. Oh my god! God dang, dude! No wonder I don't get invited to Oppo Oppo lunch. What the fuck? All right, so dual selfie camera, one for selfie, one for group selfie. Um. <laughs> The F3 sports dual front cameras, one 16 megapixel camera and one 8 megapixel 120, 120 degree wide angle camera. Uh, with two cameras, okay, fine, okay, 16 megapixel is a lot of megapixels, I, I admit. And 8 megapixel for wide angle, it's it's another wide, it's, it's okay, fine, fine. That's what you're paying for, fine. And then Meron 16 megapixel rear camera, capture your life as clearly as it happens. With f1.7 aperture though and 1 over 2.8 inch sensor. Hindi po malaki yung 1 over 2.8 inch sensor. But okay, fine, fine. We need optical stabilization bar or what? PDAF autofocus. Uh, ultra fine. Six string. What the fuck is a six string antenna lens? Oh, antenna lines. Improve Wi-Fi performance. Oh, okay. I mean, it's a it's a nice looking phone, but it's come on, it looks like a Zen phone, neighbor. it was whatever. It was a Samsung phone. Book flash charge is okay. It's a MediaTek processor. It's gonna ho heat up. It's gonna lose battery quickly because it's a fucking MediaTek. It's not an optimized processor. Color OS, fine. All right, all right, all right. Let's read. Okay, fine, fine. All right, we have a Qualcomm. Wait, why Qualcomm data? What? What? Huh? Wait, Maliba specs in MediaTek. Oh, F3 Plus. What the? Why did you send me to F3 Plus? What the fuck? I clicked on the F3. Huh? Huh? What? 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 F3, F3, just just send me to the F3. Wow! Walang F3. Ayoko na, quit na ako. Wasted na. Alright, dito na tayo sa Yugatech magbasa kasi mali walang specs ng F3 dito sa ano. Sa website nila. Um, do what selfie cam sold them. Pota ginawang Johnny. Parang yala akong Johnny po ni si Opa. Mag Asus Zen Max 5.5 na lang ako, at least Snapdragon 430 pa. Yeah, or even for the 17,000, just buy the Snapdragon. Just buy the just buy the Zen Phone 3 standard. Chris Rodriguez, are you a big Yakuza fan playing the prequel and the sequels on the PS4? I want to buy this. I want to buy Yakuza 0. Um, I just don't have the money. I'm playing Persona 5 right now. Uh, <laughs> Ika ini invite kasi it's a media tech trap. And can't wait for Ryu Ryuga Gotoku 7 on the PS4 to open it on May 30th, 2017, when they're going to announce a release date for it. I, I want to play Yakuza 0 and then 
I want to see what I can do about playing old Yakuza's, but I I think I I like I like Yakuza Zero because it starts it's where it starts and I don't need to know any backstory. Uh, we don't. All right, so let's just read the specs from Yugatech because the website doesn't have specs for the F3 apparently, unless we go to uh, a different country's website, I guess. But eh. all right, so we have a 5.5 inch. I want to say IPS display, 1080p, decent Corning Grill Gas 5. Okay, we have a really crappy 1.5 gigahertz MediaTek 6750 Octa Core. 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage with micro SD, 13 megapixel. Oh, it's only 13 megapixel. Pag yung of F3 lang. 13 megapixel rear camera and then 16 megapixel plus 8 megapixel wide angle. So front, dual nano SIM LTE with a 3200 milliamp hour battery and Android 6.0 marshmallow. So you can die while trying. To while waiting for an update to Nougat, you will you will die of boredom. Dan says this price at sixteen nine ninety. It's it's go on pre order starting on May five, and will be available in gold and rose gold colors. What the fuck? MT sixty seven fifty T for one seventeen K and still on marshmallow with no guarantee for future updates. Just like their older models. Exactly. Kinda having second thoughts on taking this phone from the time I bought their F1S. I got disappointed on how they seem to not care on updating their Android version. Exclamation point! No more appealing to me! Exclamation mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Kuya, kamusta pala Nintendo Switch mo? Nandun, nasa 4K TV. Nakakabit sa 4K TV sa likod. Ano po ba gandang phone? Oh, yeah. Let's ask GSM Arena for the specs if we got that right. Oppo F3. Huh? Uh, it's a yep. It's a 6750T MediaTek. Holy shit, though! What? 17k for that? No way! Get a seriously. Uh, I know. Then phone three ZE five five. Like, just get this. Get this. This is still. Really good buy, Snapdragon 625. Uh, it's what? Si any specs ito? 64 gigs of RAM but, or of storage but or 32? 32 lang nata. No, it's 64, right? Right, yeah. Get this one! I, I don't know. Okay, maybe it's not gonna take the best selfies. Maybe. Still a better phone, 100%. Got a 16 megapixel optically stabilized camera that shoots 4K. Anong pagyayabang mo dito? Anong pagyayabang ng putang inang ito? Ha? Ah, walang optical stabilization. Kahit yung front camera, walang optical stabilization. Okay, maybe. Why? Right, fine. 16 megapixel selfies. Oh my god, so amazing. Beautify, beautify. Whatever. Fuck that shit. <coughs> okay, kamusta pala Nintendo Switch mo nandun? Uh, nasa likod. Nasa may 4K TV. Um, I bought uh, some uh, accessories for the Nintendo Switch. is. uh... I bought a steering wheel for my pamangkin and I bought a grippy grip thingy for the, the small Joy-Cons. Uh, ano po ba magandang phone? Uh, halagang 10k PHP budget. Uh, sabi ni Ryan J. Kusim, Kus, Quismundo. Sorry, Quismundo. Um, since nandito na lang din tayo, we'll go for the Zenfone Max. Uh, is this it one? No, no, no. Z yes, 553k. This is a decent one. Um, not necessarily the best. Oh, what the hell is this? But but may ate dito. What the hell? May ate si Mr. Zenfone Max. Oh my god. Uh, this is pretty decent. Snapdragon 430. Uh, decent design from Acer, uh, Asus, and everything. Um, it's a mid range of everything. It's kind of a mid range of everything. Like, not, it doesn't have the best, best processor, not the best selfie, selfie, selfie. Uh, but it's a good mid range for everything. Um, <laughs> if you want gaming, you might go with the MediaTek 6755 processors out there, which is uh, Infinix phones. But this one, because these are pretty decent specs. So to lang. we get a uh, 1080p display, right? Yes, 1080p display, uh, and I believe ilang gigs yung nandito sa Pilipinas. Mazada. Um, 
Zenfone 3 Max. Uh, this one. Don't buy this, the 5.2 inch Max, by the way. The 5.5 inch Max. They are completely different phones. The one is a MediaTek processor and 720p. The 5.5 is a uh, uh, Snapdragon 430 with a 1080p display. So we get 3 gigs of RAM. Holy crap, that's good. Uh, with a full HD display, 16 megapixel rear camera, and 8 megapixel front. This is this is a good 10K phone. This is a good 10K phone, Zenfone 3 Max. Now, if you told me what your preferences were, ano yung gusto mong specs? Like, do you want to play games on your phone? Do you want to selfie with your phone? Uh, do you want to have a large battery with your phone? Or, ano pa ba yung pwedeng preference yan? Oh, camera. Camera. Or main camera. Uh, make a pickles. Uh, tapo na yung putang ina. <laughs> Chappy man best. Sabi niya sub niya daw, sub niya daw kay. <laughs> he's, he's begging for subs. Uh, I don't think that works though. So. Alright, so that's the Oppo F3 Plus. Or, uh, no, sorry. Oppo F3 lang pala. At fucking 17,000 pesos, man. Fucking hell. Jesus. How much money do you have to pay for fucking selfies, huh? What? You go you mayaman ba kayo sa selfies? Really? Seriously, what the fuck? This is the shit I don't understand with people. The selfie generation. I know better selfies are nice. But do you do you want to pay 17,000 pesos? For better selfies, just getting more likes on Facebook? What does... You mayaman ka ba doon? Wala nung ZE552 KL sa ano. Let's go to... Let's go to CMK cell phones. I haven't been to CMK in a long... Holy crap. Wala nung si CM... What? What? What happened to CMK cell phones? Oh, oh, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Huh? Huh? What? The Cloud Phone Next Bakuya is good. I think it's decent, but I haven't reviewed it. So, <coughs> it's a Snapdragon 430, which I like. I haven't reviewed the actual unit, so I can't tell you if the camera is good or what, or if the display is good or bad. But basing on the specs, I think it's decent. I just don't re just don't believe some of the uh, Philippine reviews about it because some of them are extremely exaggerated, world class performance type reviews. What? What? Look at this. Why does CMKCellphones.com not work? But www.cmkcellphones.com works. There's something weird going on here. So let's go to uh, what am I looking for? Asus. Yeah. Uh, Zenfone 3, they don't have the standard anymore, do they? Yeah, oh, they do have a 5.2? <gasps> no way! They have a legit 5.2 na may warranty? Oh, shit! This is decent. Oh, this is the, uh, this is the official one. Yeah. So this is the cheaper version of the 5.2 inch uh, Z, uh, Zenfone 3 standard. Um, the main difference here is a smaller screen. And a smaller battery. Um, but this still has 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. Um, 8 megapixel front camera with the 16 megapixel optically stabilized uh, camera in the back. Uh, this is a pretty good. This is a, these are the two. These are very good, highly recommended phones from me. I didn't think the 5.2 was available anymore. <sighs> But still, maybe bili pa rin niya. Of course. Yung mga hindi nanonood ng BTS. <laughs> Kasi hindi na... We're not, I, 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 I suppose we're not the target market for the selfie expert. But honestly, okay. So, I talk, I, I talk about this a lot, right? If you want to be a social media influencer, and if, let's say, you're a girl and you want to be like a fashion or entertainment kind of person, or you want to post your OOTDs or something like that, Sure, better selfies helps, but the 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 market 
for people who are paying 17,000 for better selfies are not social media influencers at all. They're entry level people who just want to post on Facebook. You are not a social media influencer if you're buying a 17,000 peso selfie phone. You are if you are if you're a social media influencer, you have somebody else your boyfriend that takes your pic pictures to post on Instagram. You're not a selfie expert if you're a social media influencer. That's not how it's done. You don't buy a 17,000 peso phone, start taking selfies and become become the the instant celebrity i'm now fucking uh, uh taylor swift or some shit no you get professional shit or you get somebody that does that stuff for you you take better photos with better devices not by this this is not what social media influencers use to create photos to create to uh, da, da. okay this is for people on Actitipid and think they can be social media influencers and pay 17,000 pesos and they get 3 likes for their photo of their food. Now you may be tricked by that, you may not be, but keep it just just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. This is not this is not going to make you a social media influencer. It's not any any decent phone or a decent person that takes photos or any decent other thing that is better at taking photos will be better than this. Now, kung mag-isa ka lang and sobrang solo ka sa mundo at wala ka talagang, wala ka talagang kilala, wala ka talagang friends, you're starting from zero. You could start with this and take good selfies. And maybe, maybe lumago yung brand mo eventually to 1,000 uh, 1, followers. But, I swear to God, if you reach 5,000 followers plus on Instagram mo, and you're still rocking this, you're not gonna get more than 5,000 followers. This is not the phone that gets you to 50,000 followers. So, I don't... Un Unless you just want... You're so vain that you want approval from your friends on social media and you want to pay 17,000 pesos to be like, Oh my God, I'm so pretty. Ah, oh, I show everybody. Look at my food. Oh, this is my food so amazing. Who gives a f- Okay. Maybe I don't understand the whole, let's share everything. Uh, I want to eat this food or I just ordered this food. I'm gonna take pictures of the food. Nagbakasyon ako somewhere. I'm gonna take pictures of that bakasyon and then show everybody. I take pictures. I don't share everything on YouTube. I, I don't need to. What? I don't need your approval of my photos that, that I took when pumunta ako sa beach. I don't need your approval when I when I eat my food. Maybe I'm diff. Uh, maybe I'm such. I'm just a different person. But that's me. I don't understand this whole document everything, post everything online. For what? For what? For for lack of just to well, I'm privacy more. I want my privacy. I want to I want to go to a place and not be the asshole jackass that keeps taking selfies of himself. I want to enjoy myself when I go to the beach. Maybe enjoyment is part of the of taking selfies. I don't know, but to me, I think it's like I think it's a stupid idea. And you're paying seventeen thousand pesos to just get more likes. You're not gonna be a social media influencer with a seventeen thousand peso selfie phone. Get a better camera. Get us get a get an actual camera that does flip screen. Not this bullshit. You're not gonna get more than seven thousand followers with this bullshit. That's it. That's it. That's, that's it. So I don't understand what this is for, unless you're getting, you know, your friends. Oh my God, you're amazing selfie. Wow. I don't know. Panalo pa si Zenphone Live, Jan. Si Zenphone Live sobrang luman na processor. Snapdragon 410. Holy crap. Um. Pag sa ibang countries, bawal yung mag-pick ka sa food. 
Xiaomi sana nagaganda specs ulit nila kasi sa Lazada lang yata meron. Wala sa mga SM Mall. Hirap kasi pag-shipping sa, sa Lahula, yung LBC, papadala sa'yo ng maayos. Pagdating sa'yo, ng unit may defect na. Uh, pero kung tutusin, kaya, kaya maraming viral na nangyan. Uh, viral is not selfie. It's more of main camera. But yes, I, uh, I understand. I understand. But yun nga, it, a lot of people are buying this for the fact that they want better selfies. And why would you want better selfies? The only two answers that I understand are better selfies are for is for sharing with other people for taking photos with your loved ones and whatnot sure why not, why not? but i don't i don't think you need 16 megapixel shots of yourself and your loved ones as long as it's a decent photo it, it doesn't have to be 16 megapixel okay the number two reason is you want to be a social media influencer or become instagram famous and i don't think you will become instagram famous with just this you need something more than this um but, but anyway, you know <laughs> Sorry, I keep getting angry because seventeen thousand freaking smackaroos for that thing. You're getting a s inferior phone. And then who cares about your selfies at that point? Uh I wanna talk to you about Xiaomi Philippines because uh see si Ryan J Hindi Ata Alam or maybe hasn't been re haven't been updated with the news. We talked about this recently, but uh, just in case you don't know, Philipp Xiaomi Philippines is back to a limited extent so far, but they are 100% back in the Philippines and trying to make, uh, trying to build their brand again in the Philippines. Uh, what's up, Ron Iverson? But these are PBA ads. So, uh, dito dito ka na bumili ng any Xiaomi product mo because this is legit Xiaomi. Uh, selling right now. <laughs> nga, kasi may pillow sila. <laughs> 4,450 for a Xiaomi pillow. I actually am tempted kung ano man yung meron dito. Um, but the current products that they have are the Redmi Note 3, uh, Redmi 4A, and then they have the Mi Mix and the Mi Note 2. Unfortunately, they don't have the Mi 5, which is a really good phone. Unfortunately, wala sa Pilipinas. But uh, let's, hope, let's hope and support me philippines uh because hopefully eventually they'll bring more xiaomi products to the philippines not just these six uh six phones and some other accessories and room uh no floor vacuum thing um so don't don't i wouldn't suggest buying some of the uh, you know yung, uh the reason why you don't see them at malls because they pulled out of the Philippines recently for uh, Xiaomi in 20 they started pulling out in 2015 if I'm not mistaken now they're back uh, and then this 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 actual fan page has been created like two months ago lang so this is very new as you can see March 24 was their first post what day is it March April May so literally two months and a half or two months and yeah two months and a week or so they created this fan page and this is legit fan page they are really back they even have an address and a telephone number, as you can see right here. Uh, so, there's a local warranty. Na ito. So, if you want a Xiaomi phone, check out Xiaomi Philippines. They're so far, the only thing, the only place I know where they are is on Facebook. So, here it is. Uh, Me Authorized set Reseller PH is their uh, fan page. Uh, Xiaomi pa rin ba si Hugo Barra, Kuya Alex? No, no more. No more. He... He left Xiaomi, I, I want to say, late last year. Um, let's type it in. Hugo Barra leaves Xiaomi, right? What was that? January 2017. So, uh, I said late last year. Apparently, it's uh, early, early, early this year. <clears throat> how, how long did he stay there? Three years, I think? Or six years? COD din sila. You know what? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Ah, yeah. There you go. Trust me, it doesn't get better than this. Our best-selling smartphone now made more affordable. Limited time offer. Blah, 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 blah. Cash on delivery plus free delivery within Metro Manila. Uh, hopefully, you're in Metro Manila. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for... Sabi ni Emilio Aquino, Xiaomi Pistons, one of the best headphones. Yes, yes, yes. I have the Xiaomi Piston too. 
and I have the Xiaomi hybrids, and I actually like the Piston 2 more than the hybrids. Um, <clears throat> but I really wish uh, that Xiaomi brings back their headphones in the Philippines. So far, wala pa silang headphones. Look, they have a selfie stick though, 450 pesos with a remote. What is this, Bluetooth or no? Mi wired mono. Ah, it's a wired, uh, not wireless. Yeah, there's a wire na kinakabit sa headphones over there. But 450 for a selfie stick, not bad, I guess. It's a slightly higher quality than your usual selfie stick, so I guess that's okay. Um, so yeah, Xiaomi Philippines is back, and let's hope that they grow their presence in the Philippines more, so we can get more products from Xiaomi, because it's honest to goodness, we need more Xiaomi products in the Philippines. There's We need that influx. Alright, so what's our next topic? I mean, what else is there? Ano sabi ni Jun Ching? Wait, hindi ko nabasa to ah. Uh, <coughs> Paano pag bumili ako ng Mekis nakalagay na yun, brown switch, pwede ko siya palitan? Mahirap na. You need to buy a mechanical switch that advertises ko ano yung type of switch niya before you buy it. Mo normally naman, it says on the box, it's uh, Cherry MX Brown or something, Blue Switch Keys or Clicky Keys or something like that. So you have to make sure before you buy it, you actually check what the product uh, says uh, for their switches. Kung magagaya nila screen ni Samsung Curve or yung screen ni G6, pwede siguro tapos muna price. Alright, so let's talk about Microsoft because Microsoft has a new laptop and obviously nobody can afford it. Uh, I know, I know, ganun naman talaga yung sa Pilipinas. Eh. So, these kinds of products are not for the Philippine market. For, and, and I understand why. Uh, these are kind of uh, flagship level uh, stylish or or ano ba? I don't know how do you how do you describe that right they're they're luxury products no not 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 even luxury because there are more luxury products out there but here is the Microsoft surface laptop and most likely ma, 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 ano tayo, ma, ta, what do you call this Copyright tayo. I'm gonna turn off the music so we can we can play it safe. Uh, so Microsoft announced uh, a slew of uh, features for their education sector, but primarily what we're interested in is the Microsoft laptop, which you're seeing right now, and uh, Surface laptop and tawag nila dito. So if you're not familiar with the Surface series, the Surface series is Microsoft's uh, tablet. It started off as a tablet system, PC, that is uh, very thin, but also very powerful and very beautiful design. As you can see, this continues with the, the same theory of beautiful design. But unfortunately, it's no longer a tablet. It's a touchscreen laptop. Um, they sila yung nagpasimula ng yung two-in-one convertible trend. Uh, but now it's no longer a two-in-one convertible. It's a typical laptop now, um, and it's very beautiful. And that's a lot of what people are going to be wanting this for, with very high-end specs, obviously, and very high-end build. Um, but in terms of what you're getting in terms of specs, this is not something you would want because you can probably get the same spec laptop for about. I want to say 40,000 or below pesos or yeah definitely around the 30 to 40,000 peso range you can buy a you can buy a laptop with this specs but it will not have the, the same design the same lightweight build and everything so let's look at um me is there a website that we can go to, to look for the surface product uh let's see let's see microsoft store products <clears throat> PC accessories. Wait, what? Store? Game? Store? Home? Where's their um, PC accessories? <clears throat> oh, that's because walang ano dito. Walang service dito. <laughs> the, it, we're, we're in, uh, we're in the, uh, wait, we're in the NUS now. What the hell? Where's the surface? Uh. 
Pero may scandal dyan from Microsoft sa teaser nila na may USB Type-C. I know. Huwag nyo naisipin yun. It's not a scandal. It's more like a, f- a feature they didn't eventually i- include in the final product. Well, Alex, ano ginagawa mo sa mga spare phones mo? Ginagamit mo pa din ba pa minsan-minsan? Paano mo i-manage, i-manage madami mong phone? Most of the phones, uh, pag, pag uh, for example, na, na, na iwan sa akin or ano, uh, some of the phones, most well, actually, most of the phones binabalik namin sa, uh, sa brand. Um, some brands, they like to leave it with you. They don't actually tell you that they'll leave it with you, but they leave it with you anyway. Um, just in case nangyari yun, I, I try to sell them to continue the uh, our cost. Because, I mean, these kinds of things we do, gener- especially for the Philippine market, they don't actually earn money. They, don't, they earn one-tenth of the money I earn from other videos that I make in, in my YouTube channel. So they're basically pro bono. I don't make money from... From the videos of the Philippine products or something like Cherry Mobile or Star Mobile or something like that. I do like to do them because I want to build and support the Philippine community. But I don't make shit. I don't make shit for that for content that I make for any of the local brands. Because <clears throat> they don't they don't pay the advertising that much. I mean the YouTube doesn't give us money so much for content that is targeted towards the Philippines, basically. Especially for budget phones. Um, so some of the phones uh, binenta ko, uh, I I sold like a lot of them back in 2016 to build my my PC that, that my desktop PC that I use right now, um, and I sold a lot. Uh, also a lot of them back in uh, November December 2016 as well. Because early 2016 I sold a lot, and then the second batch I sold in 2016 as well. Because some of them hindi na pinipick up ng mga brands like you know. Um, so I just kung hindi nila pinick up I give them like a time limit na parang okay hindi nyo pa pinick up I'll just sell it kasi ma, 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 they're just gonna deteriorate in price and quality like if it's like a 2014 2015 phone iniwan mo sa akin and it's already 2016 bababa at bababa lang yung price na yan magiging walang kwenta and then ay, nakatambak lang dito I'm, I would rather just sell it and then bala na tayo mag-usap eventually kung gusto mong bawiin pa yung telepono sa akin so yun, I, I, I spend it on my expenses for the YouTube channel, basically. Um, also, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Some of it pay for my equipment, basically. Cameras, tripods, lights, uh, and, and of course the, the computer that we have right here. Uh, some, somewhat in, on a tangent, I bought a Surface Pro 4 last year. Not from, uh, not from the sale of cell phones uh, but more on um, earnings some from YouTube uh, because I made a, a decent er, a decent week a decent month one time okay uh, some of the phones I keep like okay uh, ito bala ko ibenta I won this from a Huawei Christmas party I got a this is the Huawei P9 I like the Huawei P9 it's an amazing phone a little pricey 23 22,000 pesos most likely, bababa na ngayon in price, but excellent, excellent phone. And also, Nougat updated. I have, uh, this is my first, pers- I think this is going to be like a half daily driver for me. This is the Zenfone 3 standard, 5.5 inch. I have a LG G4 that I need to sell because I bought that second hand. I have the Motorola Moto X 2014, which I will not sell because I love that phone. And that is my super baby, I guess. Um, and I have a Samsung Galaxy S5 which I got from a smart plan long time ago. Um, durug na siya. I don't think I can get any money for selling this anymore. So bahay pa man ako sa mother ko ito if she needs um, Other than that, I have a, the, my very first Android phone, the HTC Desire. Uh, and then pinirumhan siya ni Rian Ramos, so I really don't want to sell it. And of course, um, my daily driver for most of like 66 percent of the time this is the phone that i'm using when i'm not reviewing anything this is the blackberry priv pretty good phone I wouldn't recommend you buying it because it's mahal pa rin siya. um but what it, what it, i like the keyboard i like some of the features that it has uh pretty excellent camera although major grainy sa gabi. 
Uh, Emilio Aquino says, sa Facebook niyo ba, Kuya, pinupost yung binibendo niyo sa OLX? I don't post it on Facebook and I don't let people know how I, where I'm selling it. Kasi I, I think it could be a conflict of interest for a lot of people. Um, unang una, uh, uh, unang una, I mean, sila, some, some other people, sila, like sila B-Boy or sila Jam, um, they managed to get away with posting their uh, for sale products on their personal pages or their fan pages or wherever they publicly state that they are who they are and what they're selling uh, for me medyo mahirap sabihin yon because unang una kong nagpost ako sa BTS community what I'm selling is um, I'm not saying everybody will do it pero there will be a fraction of people who will want to say iparaffle ko na lang kasi obviously people want free stuff and I understand that they want free stuff. It's just that I can't give it away for free, right? I mean, I try to give as many things away for free, but it's just that you know, I gotta, I gotta eat, I gotta eat, I gotta get my equipment. It's not like I'm, I'm making money hand over fist here, so I can't just be giving away phones for free. Um, and I, I sell them at heavily discounted prices. Alam, may mga tao dyan, sila, I don't know, sila norms. I, I'm pretty sure nasa uh, BTS community chat or sa, what, what is this? Uh, so, just in case you don't know, we have a uh, uh, group chat. The Team Coca group chat. This is Everybody's welcome to join the group chat, by the way. If you're not in the group chat, just let me know. Right? I can add you. Everybody's welcome to the group chat. I I invited a lot of people uh, when it when I created the group chat, and I think a month or so after the group chat was created. And one of the reasons why I wanted to create the group chat for BTS community was, you know, sometimes because you know, my pagdaldalan, right? And also, I wanted a smaller group of people that understands uh, when I sell something. So, sa group chat naga advertise ako ng binibenta ko sometimes. Not so much these days because I'm a lot of and I don't have a lot of things to sell anymore. Um, but for example, the LG G4, I'm, I want to sell this for 5000 Um 5000 only. Uh, it's not in the best condition. It's a lot because I bought it second hand. Um, it's a lot of money. But everything works. And I want to sell it for 5000 And uh, my project there i want to make a project that is uh the bts fund or the kokak fund or whatever and um uh, ang target ko nun was to sell phones put it in the kokak fund uh bts fund and then buy a new phone to review because generally for some of the local brands right now they they don't give a shit about lending review units anymore because who the f honestly nobody reads these reviews like They'll watch her fucking review, but don't give a shit about it. Like, you know, they would rather. Most of the local brands these days would rather spend their money or spend their time in marketing on their own fan page, on their own. Uh, I know, because it it doesn't help that much. They they would rather spam the shit out of their fan page. Look at look at Firefly Mobile. Look at Cherry Mobile today. Who gives us? Who who has event? Cherry Mobile has events anymore. I don't even give a fuck. I don't even understand. They had an event about their fucking. Prepaid sim bullshit, right? Star Mobile, no events. Cloud phone? I, I don't fucking know. But look at look at how much we've fucked or we, we, we don't give a fuck about new products from, from local brands or, or new events from local brands. So um ang proposal conon was to sell some of my phones, keep a coca fund or community fund, which we will use to buy f new phones that the community wants to buy and wants a review of and then I'll review it and then two weeks later I'll sell it for a heavily discounted price of BTS community like for example it's a 10,000 peso phone I'll buy it for 10,000 pesos review it for two weeks sell it for 7,000 pesos the 7,000 pesos goes back into the Coca fund and we buy another phone with 7,000 pesos. Obviously, we're going to try and add some more eventually because we're going to buy more money, but at least the money always circulates and we always have review units to review. We don't have to rely on the brands to send us, send us any units. And also, we will be able to get discounted phones for the community to use. But obviously, 
um, it's it's a bit harder to to start that kind of thing, especially since uh, there's still a lot of people in the community who will want that phone for free. Um, sorry, Major Mahaba. Uh, that's a long discussion about the ethics of selling stuff. So uh, I find it hard to sell stuff publicly in my name uh, and in the BTS community because you know a lot of people will ask for it for free or discounts being ah, oh, ikaw naman yung blogger, di pa yung discount. And, and, and I sell my phones for a heavy fucking discount. People, si Norm salam yan. Si Norm, he's, he's seen my discount. He's my He's seen my prices. I've sold. I mean, medyo matagal na, so malaki na yung dis, malaki na yung difference in prices in 2017. But since normally he would have known the difference in prices when I was trying to so sell. I tried to sell like fucking 10k tablets for 4,000, 3,000 pesos. So I'm not selling them for money. I'm not selling them to get back the money. I'm selling them so I can get rid of them. And have a little bit extra to spend. Uh, it's India ako shrewd about you know, I gotta get nine thousand pesos out of the ten thousand peso phone because I only use it. Some people will fucking sell it for nine thousand five hundred. If may mga talaga. There, galit ako niyan eh kasi no 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 pa nung Xbox three sixty days ko eh. Some fucking idiot will buy a, a game for two thousand five hundred, and then mahigita mo sa sa for sale section ng group niyo. For 2,400 binibenta niya second hand, one week used. Ay putang ina. Obviously, okay. So it makes sense to buy. In makatipid ka na 100 pesos. But look at what you're doing. Look at what you're doing to these idiots. What you're allowing these idiots to do. This idiot, this fucking asshole, bought a game for 2,500. Right? Hey, what's up, gadget addict? This fucking idiot bought a game. For 2,500 pesos, played the game, experienced what he needed to experience with the game, and is selling it for 2,500. And you're buying that 2,400, uh, right? You're allowing this guy to basically game for free. He bought a game for 2,500. He's selling it to, for 2,400. All he needs to do is add another 100. He can buy another game. He's gaming for 100 pesos only. He bought that game for 100 pesos only. And he can buy another game for 100 pesos only. As long as you support his whatever he's doing. Leonardo Roca, Leonardo Roca thank you for the subscribe. And I don't support that. Because obviously the game is not worth 100 pesos. It's more th more than a hundred pesos, and and you're selling used game, you a used game. My, you should definitely sell it for a way less price, because if I need only a hundred pesos, and I could buy a brand new game anyway, and I'll buy that brand new game. I'm not gonna buy your secondhand game, even if it's gonna save me one hundred pesos, because that's just that's just bad economy. That's just letting you get away. With this bullshit of selling at ninety percent uh, of the sale of the market value of the uh, of the SRP, and that's why you should not. I mean, sure, some phones it's a little bit different because obviously it still has all of the the value in it or the um, the mechanical whatever electronics in it. But you should acknowledge that you are buying this phone and selling it. As soon as possible, for some reason, and acknowledging that is should be bawasan yung lower the price a little bit. Just it's just the ethics of it. It's just stupid. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So nasa nataya. <laughs> uh, we're talking about uh, basically secondhand phones, right? So yeah. Anyway, I don't have. Currently, I don't have anything that I would like to sell except for the LG G4. If you're interested, somebody actually PM'd me about this that lived in in in, in Baguio, and I'm sorry I haven't wasn't able to reply. I was super busy that week, and I really didn't have the time to actually deal with actually selling a G4. I'm very willing to ship it to Baguio, but I just was not not that week, not that month, in fact. Um, and and honestly, I don't have that much free time in. Every day, so 
it's very hard uh, for me to sometimes do that. That's why I lower the prices of my second-hand phones because I just don't want to deal with the bullshit. And I always say, if you're not going to meet me where I want to meet, uh, I will definitely just ignore you. Um, I hate that. I, it's like people who sell their physical items. So they use it for years. They think it's worth 89% of the original value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> We haven't actually talked about the topic at hand. We, we got a question midway. Um, but our topic at hand is the the Microsoft Surface Laptop, right? So, I didn't actually read the specs on the Surface Laptop. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's an i5, i7. And it's about the same specs as the Surface Pro 4, except in laptop form, right? What's the display resolution on it? The main problem with the Surface uh, Laptop is that it's running on the Windows 10s bullshit software. Oh, I just like I like that photo, better photo. Um, all right, so there's a um, let's see here. Let's look at the lowest price, the lowest edition here, which is the i5, four gigs of RAM. Um, how do we get the fucking specs? What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me, Microsoft? What is this? This is not specs. Fuck. <sighs> All right, here we go. We have a uh, Core i5 6300U, 4 gigs of RAM. This is the lower end, lowest end model we're talking about. 128 gigabyte SSD, full size SD. Wait, full size SD cards? Ah, okay, that's nice. Full size SD card slot. No longer a micro SD. Yeah, full size SD card slot. Uh, stereo microphones, headset jack, keyboard, touchpad, mouse, sensors, ambient light, 720p front camera. Wi-Fi AC, Bluetooth 4.0, USB 3.0 port, multi mini display port. <clears throat> yeah, pretty much the specs on the let's think about the Surface Pro 4. All right, Surface Pro 4 is a 6300U, 6300U, 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gig. Yep, yep, yep. What's the display on this? 13.5, 2256 by 1504 versus. What? Mas mataas pa yung resolution ng Surface Pro 4. 2736-1824 versus... Versus 2256-1504. What the fuck? This is just just higher than 1080p. 201 PPI. This is 267 PPI. Oh, mag-Surface Pro 4 ka na lang. What the hell? Man, come on. And then you're getting Windows 10S? But according to Microsoft, they offer the Win 10 Pro for one year, then 50 Yeah. So, okay. So, uh, <laughs> na lang. let's read some of this stuff. Uh, the Surface Laptop was announced at the Microsoft EDU event uh, alongside Windows 10S, an updated version of blah, 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 blah. Okay. <clears throat> Windows 10S. Windows 10S is a feature-limited version of Windows designed primarily for low-end devices in the education market to launch later 2017. It has a faster initial setup and login process and allows devices to be provisioned using a USB drive with the Set Up School PCs app. Users can only install software from Windows Store and system settings are locked to only allow Microsoft Edge, a fucking Microsoft Edge, as the default web browser with Bing as it fucking Bing, as its search engine. The operating systems may be upgraded to Windows 10 Pro for a fee to enable unrestricted software installation. All Windows 10 S devices will include a free one-year subscription to Minecraft Education Edition and Office 365. Critics have compared the edition to Windows RT, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yeah, so there's, there's right off the bat, we have a big problem with the uh, Windows 10 S. Uh, nobody in their right mind would want to have the Windows 10 S. I, I, there's just no two ways about it. Windows 10 S is Windows 10 piece of shit. Because you can't install Steam. You can't install Chrome. You can't install 
you know, GIMP, FileZilla, Discord, you can't install. Whatever, well, I, I can't install Battle.net, I can't install Steam, I can't install Uplay, Origin, G Arena. I can't play League of Legends on that thing because League of Legends is not on the Windows Store, right? I can't install Razer Cortex, I can't install Skype. Well, Skype on the Windows Store, there's one. Uh, they can't op I can't use Open Broadcaster software. Uh, I, I don't think there's a... I have to use a Spotify from the Microsoft Store. I can't use my editing software i can't play any of these games you get my drift windows 10 s is windows 10 shit i can't run obs studio i can't run vlc okay there's a vlc from the windows store basically the only thing you can run on windows 10 s are apps from here these I really want to play Cooking Fever and Dragon Mania Legends. And I only want to use Microsoft Photos and Facebook on here. And I only want to use Netflix from here. And for Adobe Photoshop Express and Video Editor Master and Viber and Pixar. These are the only apps you can run on the fucking Windows 10 S. Oh my god, I can use Phototastic Collage. Oh my god, such amazing photo editing tools on my fucking $1,000 PC. Just buy a Surface Pro 4. What? Just buy a Surface Pro 4, man. Come on, it's got a better display. Oh boy. Okay, sorry. Sorry for the rant. Okay, so the problem with Windows NS, like I said, it's limit. It's very limited. And when the, oh, Microsoft wants to sell you, oh my god, you can do a lot of things. You can do so many things with Windows 10S. Like, oh, I got, we got so many apps on the Microsoft Store. They want you to believe that the Windows 10 Store is full-featured enough that you can, you can forego running all of the apps in my back here, on my background here. Right? They, they're telling you, you can, you can, you don't need... You don't need your fucking GIMP. You don't need Steam. Who the fuck needs Steam? Pl buy games from our store. Buy Middle Earth Shadow of War Gold Edition for 4600 Buy Forza Horizon 3 Standard Edition for 2775 You don't need Steam. You, you, don't, you don't need... How many games do I have? You don't need 253 games. Right? You don't need that. Just, just download. Just download... Download the the, th the stuff. There's so much stuff. You mean you can you can play Cooking Fever, you can play move, let's top let's go top games. Let's look at the top games. You can play Asphalt Airborne, World at Arms, Roblox, Sniper Fury, Cooking Dungeon Fever, Dungeon Hunter Five, Star Wars Commander. These are all the games you want. None of the stints. Circular Tennis School Multiplayer. My god, I've been wanting to play that forever. Fuck that. Okay, so, bukod done. Other than that, here's your browser. It is the only browser you ever need, man. You don't need that Chrome. You, you don't need Chrome. Man, this is your browser here. Oh my god, this is so amazing. Let's type a search query, huh? Um, Persona 5. Let's type Persona 5. Look at that! Look at my search engine! It's called the BB, the Bing! The, oh my god! Look at that search engine! It's amazing! Yeah, oh, let's go full screen! This is your search engine! This is your... You can't Google! You can't Google! This is it! This is your browser! This is your search engine! Wait... That's it! That's your... That's your thing now! Oh, I gotta do that, okay. Right, so... That's a piece of shit! That's a, 1,000 pesos for that piece of shit. No way. No thanks. No thank you. I know you can you can live with it, but why would you live with it when you can get the full version with all this shit? With Battle.net, with Steam, with Origin, with Uplay, with League of Legends, with Dota, with CSGO. None of the esports can... None of the esports games run on Windows fucking store. No, none, none. League of Legends, Dota, Heroes of the Storm, 
uh, Paladins. None of that is from the Windows Store. And that's, I'm not just talking about gaming. I'm talking about, let's talk about programming. Let's talk about uh, uh, advanced video editing. Let's talk about, you know, uh, um, auto, uh, 3D render, 3D, pr the, the, the production, Visual C++, all that stuff. All that is required. You need, you need, you need normal Windows. And well, fucking Microsoft being fucking Microsoft, they want to limit you to Windows Store because every single app you can download from here gives them money. And that that's just being a dumb, a fucking, fucking asshole Microsoft is. That's just instead of, instead of putting so much bloatware in your OS, it just tells you only, you can only install the bloatware that we allow in the store. Every single app here pays Microsoft some amount of money to be on the store. And of course, they're, the, what they're saying is the difference here, uh, the, reason, the reasoning behind that is to make it super safe and super family friendly. But you can prove, the, you can prove that wrong because there's some questionable apps on Microsoft Store. So, it's a really shitty OS and it's a really shitty move by Microsoft, but we're used to that. Shit, Microsoft is already, always doing shitty moves anyway, so let's, let's face it. Microsoft gonna do Microsoft. Microsoft does what Microsoft does. But thankfully, for the first year that, or at least in 2017, if you buy a Surface laptop, but don't buy a Surface laptop if you're just do, gonna do that. For the first, for 2017, you can upgrade your Windows 10 S if you buy one of the Windows 10 S products. In 2017, you get to upgrade to Windows 10 regular or slash pro for free. You do just that. You don't don't stick on your stupid windows 10s because you're gonna want to throw your fucking pc away if you know that you always got to use your fucking microsoft edge browser and bing search engine um so if you're one of those people that got tricked into buying a windows 10s product uh just 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 upgrade it to windows 10 pro in 2017 after 2017, it's going to cost you $50 or 2,500 pesos to upgrade to a Windows 10 Pro, which is not a bad cost, to be honest. So let's say it's 2018 and you bought one of these products, a Surface laptop or something like that. And hey, you say, okay, I don't like Windows 10 S. I want to I upgrade to Windows 10 Pro. It's just going to cost you $50 in 2018, which is not a bad deal. Uh, so let's say this is $1,000 for the base model. Let's just consider it a $1,050 product because you want to buy Windows 10 Pro. But before you do that, you there is another option for you, which is go to go to playasia.com. And this is not a sponsored post. I just want to advertise that you can buy Windows 10 for about $20 or 900 pesos, 980 pesos from PlayAsia. 963 pesos. This is a full OAM copy of Windows 10 uh for 963 pesos and 48 centavos uh, and it is global region free uh key unlock for windows 10 pro oem it's 32 and 64 bit either one works fine um like i said it, here's the reviews everybody says it is a perfectly legit sale of windows 10 see as you can see right there five out of five stars Five out of five stars. Awesome price and works great. Best deal I've ever made. He worked great. Third times the charms. Works great. Works great. Works great. All. So basically, instead of paying fifty dollars for upgrading your Windows 10 S, just buy a full version of Windows and never bother with Windows 10 S. Just buy this one thousand peso product, which is twenty dollars, and just get a full version of Windows immediately. Because you won't be able to, you won't, if you're, if you, all your files are on the Windows 10 S, you won't be able to use OAM to upgrade. Uh, Moe Lee, thank you for the feedback. So, all said and done, Windows 10 S is a piece of shit. Uh, Microsoft's uh, Surface laptop is a very nice laptop, but unfortunately, it will be so annoying to be using uh, Windows 10 S. So, I do suggest upgrading immediately to windows 10 pro 
and buying this software, this ten, this $20 uh, OEM. If you're ever going to buy this, but I don't think people in the Philippines will be interested in this because number one, it's not going to be available in the Philippines immediately. And number two, it's going to be an expensive, an expensive Ultrabook, which is around 50,000 pesos for the specs. And you only get this for the design and the portability and the lightweight and, and all that. And a lot of Filipinos, they're not that big on on the luxury and the uh, the design things. A lot of Filipinos are into uh, value for money. And value for money, value for money, this is not, right? Hey, Icy Hot, how are you? Value for money, this is not. $1,000, you can definitely get a lot. There are gaming laptops, even in the United States, even in the Philippines with a uh, GeForce 1080 Ti, 1080 graphics card for 50,000 pesos, which is about $1,000. And the base, the base model of this is $1,000. Uh, so you definitely only get this for the portability, the lightweight, and uh, the build quality or the design for $1,000. And in the Philippines, uh, it's not really that important to be getting uh, something of the design aspect and whatnot. Um, it's a nice laptop, but in the United States, it's going to be a little bit more, po a lot more popular in the United States, especially since there are a lot of college students that need the portability and the, a lot of the things, right? Um, yeah, so the gadget addict might not uh, be aware, or, or I, I wasn't able, I wasn't, I didn't need to discuss a lot of this, um, but the keyboard area is actually Alcantara fabric. Uh, it's a synthetic fabric design or product um and yes it is it is considered cloth uh most of the uh, surface products uh where's my surface pro 4 it's over there i have a surface pro 4 with a detachable keyboard obviously and they do use the same alcantara fabric on the keyboard yeah 60, 65 67 is an amazing gaming laptop um yes it's an Alca alcantara fabric um and it's a synthetic fabric, but it will, Alcantara will deteriorate over time. My Surface Pro 4's Alcantara fabric, you know, it got a little, it gets a little dirty and your your sweat might even, you know, a little blend into it. And I, I don't like the, the edges. The edges are the worst when it comes to these Alcantara fabrics because they, mine is starting to fray a little bit, just a little bit. It's fine though, because I can buy a new one. Um, it feels nice. I, I admit it feels really nice because it's not a metal surface. But a lot of people will like to pref prefer the metal surface. I, I honestly think Microsoft only put in the Alcantara surface for two reasons. Number one is because the Surface Pro 4 uses Alcantara fabric on the keyboard. And they want to, you know, tell people that it's the same product, right? They, they want to... Uh, they wanted a little bit of pedigree there, or not the pedigree, but uh, a lot of people will identify the Alcantara fabric to be in the Surface Pro line. And number two, they want the, I think they went with Alcantara because they want to differentiate themselves with the MacBook Pro or the MacBook or the MacBook Air or any other similar, you know, big silver slate of a laptop, thin laptop. So I think they went with that material to differentiate themselves from the competition and i think that's what they did with the surface pro alcantara material and as well um you building on a whole second hand uh, msi 50k then yeah some of the msi gaming laptops are 50k as well uh yeah like i said the only reason why you would want this is because of the thin design uh portability and, and weight obviously since it's a laptop, it's much less harder to um, differentiate itself from gaming laptops because they all fold down to a notebook size. I mean, some of the notebooks, some of the gaming notebooks are bigger notebooks. But keep in mind, with just a little bit more thickness and a little bit more weight, you can be gaming on some of these laptops. You can be, have a GeForce 1080 or a GeForce 1080 Ti. And you should be able to game on that perfectly fine. It'll be a little bit thicker and a little bit uh, heavier. And it will most likely be made of plastic and will have, you know, not a touchscreen. But playing games is sometimes more important for a lot more people. So, eh, especially in the Philippines, 
we do value more uh, affordability and, and bang for buck than uh, design, style, and, and weight, and, and whatnot. So anyway, that is the Surface Laptop. I don't really want to discuss the specs and whatnot. Honestly, based on the specs, I prefer the Surface Pro 4. Surface Pro 4 um, has a higher resolution screen. That's I, I like that. has a detachable keyboard and the pen, uh, which I like. I don't like the laptop form factor because I don't necessarily always work on tables. Microsoft says it's easy to clean. What if there are drips of food coloring? Yeah, so yeah, I don't think it's that easy to clean. It's easy to wipe, but some of, you know, it does get grimy. Uh, but I do understand because the fabric surrounding it helps the screen. I think yes, so you don't need, you know, the rubber stoppers for the screen anymore so it doesn't scratch. Instead of the rubber stoppers, the Alcantara fabric is the rubber stopper for the screen. PC Corner, the best deals. Actually, I like uh, Complink. Complink has some pretty good pricing as well. And the video they made reminds me of an Apple video. Obviously, Microsoft uh, Surface products are very influenced by, uh, very much influenced by Apple. I mean, I think everybody is influenced by Apple a little bit uh, when it comes to presentation, when it comes to the, you know, just, just showing their products these days. It's a lot of... Uh, a lot of the hero type videos where you know a lot of the manufacturing process is shown and then you get to see a, you know sometimes when they're demo uh, they're they're introducing a product you see their fake johnny ive or at least they're trying to be to have like some designer talk about the design and stuff like that in a sophisticated manner so yes a lot of brands have been uh picking up an influence from apple these days and it, it's just the way that you know technology has become these days it, they want to be, they want that kind of, you know, uh, Apple has definitely, or at least the, the, the thing that Apple did for, for a long time has been creating these amazing videos that you just really are, uh, amazed at the product and want to touch and feel the product. So yes, it does remind me a lot of Apple and, and Surface definitely does that a lot. Um, Microsoft's, um, marketing has been very aptly um i mean you know you could you could argue samsung does it for a while and Sam a lot of brands have started to do that and deviate on it uh, themselves from that but also a lot of it you could still say is based from some some apple product launch at some point yeah i prefer convertible i like working on convertible laptops uh that's just who i am i like to work on uh, I, I, I spend a lot of time, time outside with no tables to work on, no laptop, but it does help that you, if you have a table, you just snap on the keyboard and just start typing. I love my Surface Pro 4, I love my Surface Pro 1. Um, I'm, I'm a Windows user, so that's why I, I, you know, I have to have the Surface. And uh, I know I overpaid, I mean, in terms of specs, I got much less specs for the money when I got my Surface Pro 4 versus if I, if I spent that same money on a gaming laptop, but I already game on my PC at home and I'm very comfortable with the mouse and keyboard that I game on at home. What I need in, you know, when I'm out and about, I need something that is portable, has a tablet form factor and is powerful enough and slim enough to be, to let me work in small environments and let me create videos in 4k, powerful enough for 4k and sleek enough for, for for creating that kind of content um they're after chromebooks as far as 10s and their hardware macbook only a month to go to wwdc yeah uh also microsoft is going to announce some more products uh in may 23 so yeah there will be a lot of new product announcements soon so an exciting time uh for technology as as usual every year <laughs> but yeah wwdc is going to be big um we go on let's see what uh your RGB mouse and keyboard. Yes, it, RGB mouse and keyboard. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know what else uh, to talk about, really. Um, we've exhausted our topic list, if I'm not mistaken. We were going to talk about the Surface Laptop, the Oppo F3, Star Mobile products, and the Lazada Loader's prepaid SIM thing. Um, yeah, uh, Surface Laptop, I think, it's a, I think it's a nice design. It's just I don't like Windows 10s. Uh, thankfully, you know, it doesn't require that much to upgrade. So the upgrade is free for 2017, 
to Windows 10 Pro. Um, and then it's $15 later on, or you can buy from PlayAsia, which only costs $20 to buy the Windows 10 OEM. So yeah, not really much else to talk about, and I think we've spent a lot of time <laughs> this show. I, 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 I thought we'd only have like a one hour and a half show, but we're almost getting up to the two hour and 30 minute mark. So yeah, uh, let's see who is watching still. We're, we have nine, nine people on YouTube and one person on Facebook watching. So let's close out the show. Uh, and gotta thank everybody for watching this week. Um, it was a kind of relaxing show for for most of the for most of the show. I was pretty relaxed. Um, I like talking in Tagalog for a little bit earlier on. Any plans to review the Star Cube thingy digital TV box that actually exists? Because I saw a bunch of vloggers talk about it before, but no review. Uh, it actually exists in my in my opinion. It's just, you know, Star Mobile is not in the habit of sending review units anymore. And it's not a Star Mobile product. It's a it's a Star product, uh, Star Inc. So that's a diff that's a that's the parent company of Star Mobile. And I don't think, you know, our contacts from Star Mobile necessarily will be able to get that get us that kind of product. Um, but I wanted to buy that actually. Uh, I wanted to do a review, but honestly, uh, <laughs> I have too many things to do these days, uh, too many things to do reviews for, and I don't know if I really want to do a review of it. <laughs> I'm super interested, it's just, you know, I don't know, do you need, do you need, some, do you need a Star Mobile contact uh, gadget addict to do a review of it? I hate TV, I just can't, I don't want to, I want to, I don't want to watch TV, I just, my brain will melt. My brain will like literally drop 50 IQ points from watching local TV. So I, ca I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> Wait, Alex, good question. Lang, worth it? Ba ang Samsung Icon X for 3K. What the hell is a Samsung Icon X? Is that the headphones? Ugh. Ugh. I don't know. I don't like these. I don't like these. Just get a regular headphone. <laughs> I don't. Do you do you want wireless headphones? Like completely wireless headphones? I don't like these. I mean, they're cool. They're they're absolutely wireless, just like the earpods or the AirPods. I'm sorry. But I think you could spend the three thousand pesos elsewhere. Are there are they even three thousand pesos? I thought they were expensive. Uh, this is not 3,000 pesos, dude. Are you sure you found something that is 3,000 pesos? These are... I, 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 I've I never seen completely wireless headphones go for less than 5,000 pesos. And I, I, I was pretty sure Samsung Icon X was more than... More money than it's worth. More money than it's worth. So I don't know if... I don't know where you can find the 3,000 peso Samsung Icon X. Um, like... Let's see, let's see. Alright, let's look at iPrice. Let's see if we can actually find... Uh, the actual price on this. Second hand? Okay lang? It's... I'm... Maybe? I don't... I don't know. I don't think so. Like it, I don't. I don't feel good about buying secondhand headphones. The AirPods have uh, ninety-nine percent customer satisfaction, and I agree. Love mine. Yeah, second. I. I don't. I don't. I mean, it's worth the price for that, but I don't. I'm not comfortable buying secondhand headphones because these are things you put in your ear. Um, but yeah, it's. It's fine. It, you'll have to. You'll have to. You'll have to wear options. Me personally, I would. No, thank you. Personally, for one thing, I don't like completely wireless headphones. Completely wireless Bluetooth headphones. I'm not that kind of person. Um, I also don't want to spend three thousand pesos on a on a wireless headphone. I I would rather just a wired one for the most part. Um, I did buy. I'll show you something. 
I did order this. I don't want to get the alternate. There's not a lot. I mean, you can you can buy wired or, you know, so for three thousand, not a lot. You can buy like a Jaybird X2. Those are like seven thousand though. Oh, they don't even have Jaybird X2 on so Lazada. Uh, here's something I bought, uh, and I'm really wait. I'm really hoping. The shipping is just taking too long on these, but I ordered sunglasses with uh, bone, bone conduction speakers. Uh, for This has Bluetooth, and this cost me, I believe, $150, uh, which is what, 7000 Did I really pay that much for this? I, I don't remember anymore. This, it was like October last year. Um, I like I like bo I like bone conduction. I don't want speakers on. I don't want headphones in my ears when I'm in the Uber. Uh, I don't want to look like I always have headphones on me. And I like the fact that these are bone conduction, so I always have my ears open. I just don't like the fact that they're shades. I prefer them to be. Um, what is this? Red eye? No, not red eye. The the ones I use right now, which are. What are these called? Blue light filtered. Blue light filter glasses. But unfortunately, these are shades. I'm going to have to find out what to do with them. Maybe I can find some blue light filters for these. But I like that they're blue bone conduction. Obviously, this is not an option for you. <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't have many suggestions. If you really, really, really want earphones that don't have wires, there are no suggestions for you except for the five anything five thousand pesos or above which is a hundred dollars or above um if you're okay with some wires uh the jaybirds are good they're some of the best bluetooth headphones see this is why i'm not a fan of the bluetooth headphones uh do you need them for sports do you need them for just bluetooth the, my main problem with these is if you lose one, you lose one. Forever, right? Jaybird X2. These are for sports, the Jaybird X2. Um, and they cost, I want to say the cheapest would be 6,000 pesos. It's about $120. There's the right time. These are wired but sport headphones. These are some of the best you can get. Um, but obviously, these are still around 6,000 pesos, which is not in your price range. And in your price range, it's very hard to actually recommend anything because i would prefer a first-hand product let's let's look sennheiser momentum in here try these i don't know though um i haven't reviewed these these are definitely should be definitely good ones but they're these are wired these are wired and not bluetooth I really like the Apple ear pods, even if people rag on them. I mean, I don't have any uh, Apple products, so I don't have any experience with ear pods. Um, honestly, I just get just get a blue, just get just get a Xiaomi piston wired ones if you if you're not really that picky about your. This is hard. Honestly, this is this requires a lot more discussion than. And we can um uh, what's a good one like all all of the all of the the completely wired ones are out of the table because you only want to spend three thousand pesos and all of the all of the completely wireless ones are six thousand pesos or above um uh and I assume you're looking for in ears, not over ears, or yeah. I'm sorry. I I just there's there's for three thousand pesos. There's just no options around that I can that I can think of that is easily recommended. I mean, if you if you want, just buy just buy the Icon X for sec second hand if you want, really, because they're completely they're the, they're your only options at that price. In, in your only options are second hand headphones at that point and there are some there are some things that i don't like about completely wireless headphones and i also there are some things i completely don't like about buying secondhand headphones but 
you'll have to weigh your uh, pros and cons personally if you if you're okay with somebody else's headphones. <clears throat> That's how I used to think Gadget Addict. Wait, okay. Anyway, uh, sorry about that, Antonio Arenas. I wasn't got, I wasn't able to give you a a really good answer for your head. Wait, sino ba nagtanong? Uh, alam ko si Awe naglabas ng wireless din kagaya ng Samsung. Si Awe has some decent wireless ones, but not you know. I don't think they have the full wireless ones with no completely no wires. I don't know, Antonio Arenas. Tell, tell me more. Let's talk about this. Uh, even let's let's talk about this on BTS community or something. But my personal opinion, I wouldn't buy these for three thousand if it's second hand. It will depend on your personal hygiene. Personal, you know, you just have to. You're just gonna have to think about what you feel about using somebody else's headphones and how 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 mint what the condition is on the headphones when they sell it to you because what if it's like really messed up headphones anyway so you don't want to buy that ah, okay so I mean always decent but not exactly the best and phones around. Uh, fully wireless, fully wireless. Uh, mm. If they have fully wireless, they're not here so far. And I don't know what would they would call it if it's fully wireless. There's not a standard industry term for fully wireless headphones. There they are. Here you go. 2,388. Redeem your... Uh, Redeem your own mobile number print. What? Built-in superior HD microphone. Ergonomic design. Double energy. Long-lasting. Standby time. Talking time. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, why there, is there water on there? It's, oh, it's waterproof. What? Okay. IPX4 level. Huh. And it's cash on delivery available. Let's add that to my wish list just so I can keep it keep it in my back pocket there. Keep up. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of Awe. Not they're not the best in audio quality, but 2388 for completely wireless headphones. Maybe it's up your alley. All right, let's end the show. I don't want to uh, honestly this is a very uh, personal this is a topic that I'm not necessarily interested, uh, not, not, not interested, not, I'm not personally invested in for the headphones. Um, oh my god, we got some, we got to ban some people again, again apparently. Do, 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 all right, dude. I mean, what? Sure. Dumbasses gotta be dumbasses. Other guy then. Here you go. Uh, is this guy? Is this channel for gadget lovers? Yes, it is. Um. All right then. Let's. Uh, okay. All right then. Let's end the show. I'm getting a little bit of lag for some reason. And we're over it. Okay. Let's end the show. Uh, I really don't know what to say, uh, Antonio Arens. It's it's not easy to answer that question. It will depend on your personal preference when you wanna. Cash on delivery is something we don't have here. How does that work? Uh, cash on delivery is basically the the the, the, the delivery guy will. Um, your stream is showing up on YouTube recommendations. Well, thank you. The courier will collect payment during delivery. Yes, exactly. They deal with the cash. Um, awesome though. <laughs> yeah. So YouTube recommendations. I like that. You know, you, when you stream uh, often. Uh, YouTube does recommend you on their recommendation page, so yeah. Also, they, they do like the um, they do like people live streaming a lot. Yeah, we do have a spike in viewers. I just don't know what to tell them though. <laughs> Silent Fusion, thank you for the subscribe. By the way, you will get a uh, John Cena prompt if you subscribe like within just before we end the stream. It's gonna take like thirty seconds for for um, for Google to actually work that kind of magic, but yeah. Antonio Arenas, I'm sorry. I this is a tough topic for me. I 
don't like completely wired headphones and I don't think for 3,000 pesos you can buy anything brand new. Except for the Awe, which we just looked at and I'm not a big fan of because I don't think Awe is the best at audio quality. So, hey, what's up, Mr. Derp Games? We are, we are actually getting a spike in viewers right now. Just loop from the beginning. <laughs> the, 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 the thought has crossed my mind, but... I will subscribe, Dylan Tay, thank you. Mr. Derp Games, I will subscribe, say my channel. I just did. Uh, obviously, you haven't heard me say it yet because it's like, just like a 30 second delay, but thanks, man. You a, you a good dude. All right, uh, even though we're getting an influx on, on viewers, there you go, Dylan Tay, thank you for the subscribe. Let's wait for the other ones if they're gonna. <laughs> I already subscribed already. Don't worry, you got, you just got your uh, little shout out. It's gonna take thirty seconds for you to see it, but that's how it is. Mr. Drip Games, thank you for the subscribe. All right, now we're spiking down, so the spike is done. Yeah, I like I like YouTube algorithm for when you're live streaming. They do a lot of. Uh, because not a lot of people are live streaming on YouTube, on the YouTube platform. So, um, YouTube has a tab of live streamers already. And once you're decent at the, uh, you, you have a decent stream going, you have a higher chance of being featured by YouTube on the live stream. Basically, you can make like a hundred videos, but they won't be on the front page of YouTube. But if you live stream, you are like one in a tenth chance of uh, being featured on live stream on youtube so that's a that's a life hack for live for youtube if you want to get featured by youtube live streaming is a easy way to get in the front page of youtube yes dragon ball cena <laughs> all right let's end the show i'm sorry for everybody who's just tuning in but uh that's at the end of our show we discussed a bunch of stuff like the uh, surface uh laptop from microsoft uh other smartphones like the oppo f3 and stuff like that uh, can you sub to Squid Chief Gaming, please? Well, somebody, somebody help him out. Lil John Patrick C 23, thank you for the subscribe. I'll give you like another minute. Um, or maybe until I finish this, uh, whoever subs to me, I will sub back. All right, guys, thank you for watching, though. Um, that has been a big time show for. Uh, January, March, April, May 6, 2017. Uh, another interesting week in uh, smartphones and laptops and gadgets and all that. Uh, we'll see you guys next week for another jam packed episode of the Big Time Show. Uh, so if you want to get your uh, your sub shout out, uh, you have to be on the what do you call this? Um, the your your sub preferences should be in public, not in private. If it's in private, John Cena won't be able to see it. Silent Fusion, thank you for watching the stream, dropping by. All right, guys, end the stream. Thank you for watching. We're actually gonna wait another ten seconds for anybody's subscription to come up. Just so you get your reward, but doesn't look like it's coming up. You may be might be too late because it takes a little. There's a little bit of lag, but all right. Good night, everybody, and see you guys next week. Bye bye.